some stuff out of the way oh goodness okay okay let's just hop right on in mouse is in a weird spot should be fine okay thank you thank you thank you hmm. oh. even the window is a little annoying right now come on come on So, in my own time, I also cleared out a lot of old artifacts I no longer needed. It's got some resin to blow on getting some stuff for Kini Chopoi. We will see what happens. So, before I... Yeah, I guess we can get these done first real quick. That is more than fine. Okay. So we got you over here real quick. It's Avatar of Lava. Oh well. And that did not do it. Two, three, five. Ooh, that was one heck of a crit. Hello, how are you doing? I... Milani has gotten quite strong. It's a little, a little ridiculous, honestly. How are you doing? Good to see you again. Ah. But I got some artifacts to farm for... Oh! As in... You studied so much you got a fever, or... You were sick while doing the exam. I, either way, I, I... I can't imagine either is a particularly good result. Okay. You deserve to have some good luck every now and then. Just saying. Alright, and there we go. Oh, oh, that... I, I do worry about you. Okay, well... Good. But I... Uh, I find it hard to imagine that any of this is worth getting so bent out of shape over. Just don't don't kill yourself for these things, please. Come on. And just a couple more hits, and there we go. Cool. And... Hmm. Well, well, then... Never mind. Never mind. Okay. So... So, the nice thing is that despite not having a great way to knock down that little cryo guy, I can make it work by just using Emily's burst. Oh, I... You know, I... There's only so much interrogation I can do in situations like these. But I really do sincerely feel like the tropics might not be a good fit for you then. Okay. Keep that burning going. Who is gonna come over here? Come on. There we are. There we are. And how many more hits? Decent enough. Even without the burning on it, still dealt good damage. Well, it. You know what I mean? The Mediterranean is still a comically hot place compared to. Most other places in the world. Yeah. Oh, they came all the way over here. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. And... Let's get a few more of these. That's fair. But at the very same time... No nothing will be done about that within our lifetimes. Quite frankly, the chance that we're the last real generation of humanity to exist is rather high. So, if you have a choice between burning to death in Italy or surviving a decently longer amount of time in 
a place that is not Italy, I would advise towards the latter. Okay. Also, when I was farming Saurian materials, I accidentally got a Pyroculus over here. So for the sake of honesty and documenting things, I feel like it was over there, right in front of me, that little gap between the two pieces of spine. That's what I accidentally picked up while I was killing Saurians. Well, as long as you're alright. Keep forgetting how much you like Boba. Heading to a tepid Lasaurus in need of a trim. Yeah, exactly. You'll kill me for other reasons. Haskell seems to be trying a whole new way of looking after Hora. What flavor? Oh, uh oh. What does it have to do? There is a real part of me that feels as if the only thing... Oh, goodness. Maintaining your nominal heterosexuality is the fact that if you ended up being a lesbian, you would have to admit I was right. Okay, Cosco and Hora. Don't get running off again this time. All right, Hora. Roar. Hora's been such a good boy today. Yeah, exactly. Hasn't he just all thanks to that drifty ball you helped me make? I'll be able to get Hora to do all sorts of things with this ball, whether it's washing, eating, sleeping, or training, everything will be so much easier from here on in. Not to mention trimming his claws before even just chasing him down was enough to exhaust me. Now all I have to do is show him this ball and he'll sit down like he's been house trained. Fair, I suppose. Roo, roo. Hora, do you remember who this is? He's the one who helped make your toy. Oru, Oru, who's a good boy? Oh, we can pet the pet the dragon. Oh, well, Hora definitely remembers you, and he's happy to see you too. Do you want to try trimming his claws? You can wipe his horn down while you're at it. This is very important for little tippet with sores. After all, they have to be able to dig through rocks and earth, so their claws need to be kept nice and sharp with any broken or wonky ones trimmed back into shape. It's the only way to guarantee that they'll have a pair of perfect claws when they turn into adults. And what manga was it? Here, take this. If we're doing some trimming anyway, we might as well take the chan this chance to give Hora a full body makeover. It's quite a lot of detail, a sudden wave of excitement. Roar, roar. Cough, while well, Hora's rarely this well behaved, it just occurred to me that I won't need to chase him around the entire trap today, so I couldn't help feeling happy. That sounds like a tough job. Fair. It's nothing, anyway, would better get started. I'll be right by your side telling you what to do. Oh. So you chickened out. To help Hora relax, I'll need to gently clean his back with a big brush. Then switch to a finer brush to clean his horn, put your back into that one, or you'll miss some of the dirt clogging them cracks. After that, you'll need to use a towel to wipe his entire body down. That will gradually... Yeah. But... Th that has some political overtones. Which I'm sure that you might run into if you looked into it. It's cute art, though. He'll gradually start to relax and extend his claws, and then you'll be able to give them a trim. And that's quite a specific routine. You'll really know him well, huh? That goes without saying. I raised Hora myself after all. There is no one else in the entire tribe to actually make that the whole of not one who knows him better than I do. Alright, just follow the instructions I just gave and help give Hora as a claws a trim. I'll be right next to you, so just ask if there's anything you're unclear about. Pet. Ah, Klaus calls Hora special care kit instead of... Specialized Saurian care tools personally crafted by Koskal. Each one has been specially modified for Hora's particular needs. Help Hora relax, gently clean his back with a big brush, then switch to a finer brush to clean his horn, put your backs in that one. And assume they dirt clogging them cracks. The only character who I could even remotely say is kind of a clown character would be Winnie. For that, when you use a towel to wipe his entire body down, that way he'll gradually start to relax at his claws, and you'll be able to give them a trim. Okay, so we have to do this in order, presumably, and... ra ru ru Tell, big brush, fine brush. Oh, so it's choosing the order. Oh. Hora puffs his stomach up happily and slowly quiets down. Then horn with a fine brush. Wipe his horn with a fine brush. Hora tilts his head happily and slowly quiets down. Wipe it down with a towel. Hora wiggles his waist happily and slowly quiets down. And then should be able to trim his nails. Now, tummy paw... 
Well, Dark gradually relaxes. He stretches out his whole body, extends his claws. Looks like it's time to give them a trim. When our cost cult is gone, so you carefully trim Polaro's claws. And we did that perfectly. Ha ha ha. Who'd have guessed you'd be so good at this? If bots learned about this, I'm pretty sure he'd rope you into helping him out. Roar, roar, roar. What I was thinking you too, you did such a careful job. I've no doubt he'll be drilling way even faster than before. For the Pokemon fans, here take these as a token of my appreciation. Oh yes, and I should probably warn you if you ever have to look after any other little Saurians in the future, whatever you do, don't just copy the method I taught you today. Each little Saurian has its own unique temperament, so you have to look after them in different ways. Even after all this time, I've still only figured out how to take care of Hora. Still, and then, so each of those movements is triggered by the dialogue. No, he's dug away. Still, I'm just glad that I've even gotten that far. After all, the two of us will have to put up with one another for a long while yet. Oh, where's Hora? Don't tell me he's run off again. Hora, Hora. Hora, Hora. And... No achievement that time, so presumably it was just part of a quest chain? Huh. Oh, also, well, we're close to being able to... Get to 40. Hmm. Got a good amount of stuff just sitting around. Wonder how it's going to be getting Kinich, though. Especially since then, there's Shilone in, and then... Presumably at least one person for 5.2. Last patch cycle had at least one 5 star for every version, and I don't imagine they're going to let up anytime soon. Hmm. Then I suppose can run this artifact domain nine times. And hopefully, hopefully... Yeah, but we're going to see who it's going to be. I might have said this before, but there are some rumblings about the idea of... Oh. The Wanderer Albedo stuff foreshadowed in Simulanka coming to fruition in... Oh. A sort of Christmas patch with Dragon Spine event. And that makes me wonder, because people are saying, oh, we're getting the Wanderer rerun. wonder if that could mean Wanderer alt... Because I really do think that you know, even if they go for a sort of quote-unquote quality over quantity approach for their female characters, it that's the kind of thing you can capitalize on by making alts. It would be. It really would be. Also, so, nice thing is that Milani can charge these up really quickly to you can get all of these relatively easily, but uh, main thing is what we really needed was to use Kachina with Cinder City to give her a 40% hydro damage boost, which is as ridiculous as it sounds. Come on. And uh, without the vaporizes, that was less than satisfactory. Okay. So we'll take that and. What are we gonna get? Kinich wants... that would be nice for him. Kinich really, really wants a... Crit rate circlet, actually. His weapon doesn't give crit, and he gets crit damage ascension. I did some basic calcs. And the way things are at base, with how I'd be running him, he'd prefer a crit rate circlet even, over a crit damage circlet, even though... Obsidian Codex gives him a bunch of extra crit damage. That's just how these things are. Come on. Crystallize that. And... There we go. Cool. Hmm. Three bite. One, two, three. Bite. And... Getting stacks back so fast, we're running into the cooldown on... The normals. It's kind of crazy. Oh, come on. Well, alright. Come on, give me... Uh, Emily is having a slightly harder time getting her boost back than I would like. That's life. But new patch cycle is always about farming the new artifact set. This gauntlet would suck on anyone. That pretty good. Probably save that for shielding in. It's been. I also had a bunch of. Oh, 
domain reliquaries for March Asse slash Golden True, Nighttime Echoes slash Sunny Days Pass, and then Harmonic Whimsy slash Unfinished Reverie that I just opened up and tr mostly trashed today. Especially since nobody really uses those sets anyway. The only person who uses Harmonic Whimsy is Arlequino because Clorind honestly is better with Thundering Fury, which is the dumbest thing, honestly. And, well, that kind of works. Okay, come on. Thanks. Bye. Keep going. So we mash that button. Bye. Two, three, and another bite. Okay. Hmm. That app is gone, gone. Whatever. And just give me a few particles back. That is all I am asking for. Okay. Cool. Safabodo Kasoka. Gyo. This is a decent enough team for just farming things. I think it'll actually be a couple weeks before I actually roll for Keenage, because I'm waiting for an event that I can do on that same day. Which means I'll be able to have all these characters in the party to collect friendship for some time. But at the start of next patch, there's going to be some time where I run Kachina, Shilin, and Milani, and Keenage all together for the sake of friendship, and that might get kind of awkward. Hmm. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Switch to you. Thank you. Just crystallize that and put that down. Cool. One, two, three. Right. One, two. Right. One, two. Right. One, two. Right. And there we go. Well, it's because of friendship experience. And my shorthand for that is just saying friendship. Okay, what am I getting? Uh, I just... There's very little of this that I can afford to throw away. But I don't imagine I really need to keep that defense... God. Because I don't imagine anyone could ever use that except a Geo character. And we're all getting two and both of them are off-fielders. You know, unless... And you can technically run... On-field Shionen. But it's stupid. Yeah, fair. Wait for that to crystallize for the bonus and put that on you. No healer in the party. That's life. Okay, come on. And right. Right. And hmm. come on. Come on. Luckily. I can go through up now. That'll be good. Money is getting low, and I could always use food, I guess. But. Those things are kind of mid. That. The defense goblets could work on Kachina and Julian, and not to say too much about Julian's kit, which is still technically leaks. But. All I wonder is just who is actually coming out in 5.2, which. Pretty much doubtlessly is also just going to have a new area as well. Also, I need to kill some of those secret source automatons for the sake of... Let's level up that event weapon before the event ends, and I have to spend more enhancement ore to level it. Not that it's ever going to be particularly useful for me, but you know how it is. Okay. It is funny that the name of it literally is Tupac's Grip. A lot of people made jokes about it, the nature of which you can probably imagine. Okay. There we are. And one, two, right. One, two, make sure you hit everybody. Right. One, two, three, right. And... Why not just blast them? Cool. Come on. Okay, there we go. Let me summon that back. Oh, and then Milani got that back, because with Sith cooldown being very, very annoying. And that, I guess we could roll on standard banner right now. Hmm. My question.
question is just, do I get stuff for Milani or stuff for Keenich? I'll go for Keenich. The big thing I'm thinking about is, I really want Milani. I feel like I need her at 9, 9, 9, or at least 9 for a skill and burst. If I want to kill that Turtle Local Legend legit, well, as in get its achievements legit on World Level 9, you know, I could always go down. That would reduce its HP by about a third, which is crazy to think. Because its entire gimmick is that it counts the number of hits, and after a certain number of hits you deal on it, it will put up a big shield. So to kill it before it puts its shield up, which is achievement 2 out of 3, you need to kill it with a, under a certain number of hits. Which basically means Milani check. Which I don't have an inherent problem with. But it does mean that I need to heavily invest in Milani in order to actually make her suitable for such a purpose. Okay, also, one more roll on standard. That's going to take me to 44. Just do that real quick. It's nice getting that random Chivros. Okay. Yeah, well, I like pretty much everyone's gameplay. <laughs> and guess who literally forgot to condense resin? My goodness. I, I just can't afford to throw anything away at the moment. It's God knows. Because I was going through old Marshall Sand Golden Troop pieces and throwing a lot out. Because I'd farm for most of them at the very start of Fontaine before anyone knew how any of the characters would actually work. Or basically, okay, presumably they'll release a bunch of characters to use Marchasse. And then it was pretty much just three. Unless you count Zhao, who, even then, he still got Vermilion. And I still have him on Vermilion because I just could not be asked to farm a new Marshall Saint set just for him. And Klee can use it too, actually. But of course, that's only with Fiorina. But more or less, I farmed a bunch of Marshall Saint and Golden Troop pieces and saved pretty much everyone under the impression of, you know, we don't know how these characters are going to work yet. Therefore, I can't really afford to throw anything away. And... So I went back, and you know, the only characters who really, really use Golden Troop would be Yai, Fischl, Fiorina, and only one of those is new, and you can use it on Chiori, but it's only better, arguably, than Husk, and I have her on Husk if you never use her burst, and even then it's still debatable. <laughs> so it was... Very much a sort of, okay, cool, she makes any character theater theoretically work with Fiorina, but, you know, you can only have one Fiorina. It that only does so much, especially in modes like Imaginarium, which is, you know, the real meta at this point, I would say. Which I have no problem with, because I really like theater, but... It, it definitely gives off a different impression. Okay. I really do like theater. It helps that I am a horizontal investor before I'm a vertical investor every time. Without exception, but... As I was saying... Now I do find it interesting on that ground, and that and part of it is just a matter of, you know, who's actually, you know, getting released, especially as five stars. But it is interesting to me that just looking at things from a statistical standpoint, the Imaginarium Theater starting casts, you know, maybe some of that is also just the fact that They make a lot of the metafined characters dudes. Because it's basically the way to get people who don't otherwise roll for them to roll for them. But... Uh, 
The Imaginary Theater starting characters are even more disproportionate than the base game itself, which, you know, it is what it is. I think they were at least in part sort of trying to think about, you know, who are the sweaty people who will actually play and enjoy this mode. But it's still interesting, I would say. Okay, come on. Give me more of these. Thanks. Thank you. Keep that from burning up. Somebody. It! The vaporizes seem to not be proccing. It's a, it's a term of art. Two, three. Five. One, two, three. Okay. It means people who... I think so too. But the bell of slaying eventually tolls for us all. That's really interesting. I think we have. Let me just see what I have in terms of city and codex. Because in the end, I wouldn't lose much by just farming a bunch, but. We do have a very mediocre Dendro Goblet. I could use that in Keenich in the case of an emergency. Or I guess I could just give him a crit circle, damage circlet, and it wouldn't kill me. Hmm. I don't know. Because I really do like and prioritize consistency. Just gotta wait for that crystallize, and there we go. One, two. Thank you. One, two. Goodness. Uh, burning spread is Imperfect. Okay. Alright. Thanks. Go ahead. Go ahead. That is going to be the last run I have to do, so I guess I could take out a few secret source automatons in the meantime. Oh, it's full now. But it's just... It's HP. You know, if worse comes to worse, I could always use artifact juices to make a crit rate circle for him. But... Maybe I have to be a gambler. And some of it is also just his C1 gives him a 100% crit damage boost to his big cannonballs, which... Honestly, incentivizes you building more crit rate. I mean, even with a crit rate boosting artifact set, the 40% boost is even more than Marshall say, and even less conditional than the same boost in Blizzard. I did not know that. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Hmm. It... This is going to be useful in somebody eventually. So I can level this one now and switch it off him, I suppose. Yeah, but at the same time, I think... <sighs> you know, not, not to meat ride too hard, but... The fact that it has a hard pity system, which compared to a lot of other games is also decently generous. I say this as someone who played FGO pretty passionately for a while, a game that until relatively recently literally had no pity whatsoever. If you can, aff if you can just save up Part of the point of gambling is that you can never really have any kind of sure thing, no matter what. And it's definitely predatory. But I th it's also just a matter of... Capitalism is fundamentally a race to the bottom. And that... To a certain extent... Unless external regulation changes the landscape, you're going to get outcompeted by people who behave unethically if you don't behave at least a little unethical yourself. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm never, I, I could never beat the overly serious allegations. 
Is it simple fact? Well, who do I feed artifacts to? Do I want? You've got your stuff leveled. Problem is, you aren't leveled. <laughs> I forgot how much I already threw into Hazo. Hmm. Well, actually, what I should do is. Well, as long as you're okay with it. Let me put some decent pieces on Keenich. Well, on AOI, quote unquote. Yeah, this is my Keenich, guys. Or at least the person holding the artifacts, which will eventually go to Keenich. Hmm. Let me just see. Crit value of this is pretty absurd. You can do whatever you want. I will not stop you. Hmm. This... I like this piece. Not forever. One day I'll probably level her too. And then she'll actually need some artifacts of her own. Maybe. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like... One of these days, I'm gonna have to play one, at least one Horizon game. Because T-Boy is the one guy who sometimes comes in for Souls games, is an unironic Horizon fan. And the entire time, I would just have to make jokes about, oh, isn't this the one girl from Genshin? And then eventually someone would mail a bunch of pizzas to my house, and I'd become too afraid to keep streaming. Okay. Hmm... All I want is just whatever has the highest crit value. Okay. Well, whatever works for you. It... Brutal to who? Myself? I was literally saying, they're gonna send pizzas to my house to attend intimidate me and then I'll just quit forever before they send a pipe bomb instead. Okay. How many? It's got the best crit value. 3.1, 3.78. Hmm. This is more crit rate, less crit damage. 14 basically. It's basically. Both of them have more or less 14. But this is more crit rate focused. People do do that. It's actually pretty common. I. Keep your soul pure. Relatively. Well, just in case we get something better. It's that last little bit. Well, because it's, it's the kind of thing that is generally the purview of swatters. It's kind of like a prelude to just swatting somebody. It's just, I know where you live. Which is the kind of thing that generally leads to somebody getting swatted or otherwise aggressively well docks in a way that leads to becoming the victim of some kind of violence well well it i didn't think you would do it to me that wasn't really the point okay well Got a bunch of trash to feed in these artifacts, so hopefully they will be at least somewhat usable. Come on. But, having a set ready for Keenage is going to be nice. Let's hope it goes decently into crit. God knows. Ugh. I mean, in the end, it's he doesn't need that many stats, really. He'll be okay. Well, well, yeah, because I was under the impression, the way you said it, that you would be doing it to someone else who you didn't know in real life. As an intimidation method, because otherwise I wouldn't really understand what would be so intimidating about it. Bad luck. Bad luck. Okay, crit rate, good. You know, fair enough. Whatever works for you guys, I guess. Oh, we are getting a decent amount of crit rate. Hmm, but this is all juices now. Oh, wow. 
A lot is going into crit rate. Never mind, this might be peak. Okay, 12.4. 13.2, 18 18.2, 21.7, 22.6, 25.6, that's 25.6, just from that, that's about 70% crit rate at base, which is basically as much as I could really need, Keenich is gonna be good, I like that, I guess the question is, do I just, if I have pieces I could use for Jionen. Maybe I could stop farming. I don't know. But I also need trash to just use to level other stuff too. But then presumably whoever comes out in 5.2 will need those artifacts until the 5.3 ones. And I was talking about this, but how Mavuik is going to play is kind of an enigma. Because she's probably going to get a new artifact set in the version where she comes out. Because people are saying... Unfinished Tribal Chronicles. That is not true. <laughs> we can't do that yet. Shut up. <laughs> okay. So. We are gonna kill some of these Secret Source Automatons so I can level up Tupac's Grippy. Okay. So, the big robot is over here. It's sort of a pyro robot, kinda. Kinda. Okay. But, there was something I saw on some a Genshin meme group that was basically being stuck in a compromising situation with both Arlequino and Capitano. And it was basically supposed to be a sort of, are you straight or are you gay? And basically everyone responded that they were bisexual. Okay, put that down. Thank you. Get that night soul going. And one, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. There we go. Cool. Just need these machines. Enough of these to get the hearts of the secret source I need to level up that annoying catalyst, which is kind of good for Milani. Emphasis on kind of. Is that guy from Fontaine? He looks like he's from Fontaine. Yeah. It's a shame that Capitano isn't going to be playable. That was a joke. Hopefully. Pinterest? I thought it was Wattpad. Okay, there we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So, we'll pick this up. Well, it... Nobody knows for sure. People just doom post about it. I mean, it... I think there is a decent... Okay. I, I didn't even know that... So do people just reply in the Pinterest comments, or... Do they just fantasize into the void without telling anyone? So they respond with an image post, or... How does that work? Either way... Two of them? Okay. Uh, I guess it's two of them. Alright. Come on. And... Please. Please. And... Just like that. And... One... Two... Three... Right... One... Two... Two... Three... Right... And... One... There we go. So nice. Let's go pick up our rewards. Hmm. Just like this. Ignited Treasure Hunter. Something about the first thing in a box. 
Oh, oh, so kind of temple. It's okay. You know, if they're right there, I gotta do it. We need their mats. For what it's worth, most of the evidence suggests that fighting Saurians does not kill them. That it's... That the entire deal is that everyone in Notlon is a huge, crazy battle maniac. That four? Oh my goodness. Oh, interesting. That's cool. Wait, so are they coming to me or not? Uh, I guess not. Okay. So that one is right over here. Okay. Hunter Seeker. Isn't the term Hunter Gatherer? And I s Okay, those are just more succulents. Hello there. Oh, come on. Get that. And these are Kinich's materials. Put that down. Come on, crystallize that. And put that down. One, two, three. So basically, any kind of Night Soul is going to hugely boost its damage res. I mean, hugely debuff its damage res. You see that gauge going up when anything with Night Soul, which includes Kachina's top while off field, is on there. And then when it fills up, it charges up a big ol' laser, but also just lowers its res to everything really significantly, which is... The Wyobs take more damage from any Night Soul oriented source. But the. Where is this thing? Okay, probably up top. And then. Uh, Tars of Lava just want you to apply. I either want you to apply Pyro to them or always have Pyro on them. It's interesting. Despite being in the same enemy family, they're. Kind of exact opposites in that sense. It's interesting. I. What in God's name are you doing? Oh well. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. One, two. Oh, come on. Bye. And. That was simple. Even at World Level 9, it. <laughs> I don't know, Malat, part of those big numbers are just. It's her one number, but still. Hey, go away, bird. Well, don't act, don't act like I didn't warn you. Oh, come on. Please. Wait, what? Did I? Okay, I did crystallize. That's good. Okay, let's get two of them. And one, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. Oh, goodness. Two, three. Right. One, two, three. Consequences of not critting her. Rather dire. Okay. Alright then. Go ahead. Normals. Okay, so my question is... How many more do I need to get? Because... Hearts of the Secret Source, that's about... 26... Yeah, I should have enough. Presumably. I hope. Well, it killing one more would make it a done deal. Also, that one's got a chest. Okay. So, we will take one final automaton out, and then it's time for actually getting gold quests done. How nice. Come on, come on. Oh, baby. Oh, buh, 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 buh. Buh, buh. You are just right over there. You are going to hop on, hop off. Okay. Got one more of you clowns to... Two more of you clowns to eliminate. Okay. Okay, Kachina. And just like that. Crystallize, crystallize. And you down. One, two, three. Oh, that's enough. Rather unpleasant position for me. Okay. One, two, three, right, and two, three, good enough. So there were two of there then anyway, so pick this up, and now we can make two box stuff better. 
Just a bit of going around and having a shark bite on old robots. That's something that happens every day. Okay. It... I feel like you should be able to sue your ISP. Okay. If your politicians really cared, they would give you better internet service. We need four more of those. Yep. In a decent enough position now. Okay. Thank you. Well, that's what I mean. They never cared. Because if they did, they would have given you better internet. <clears throat> okay. So, here we are. Final center of this thing. And there we go. <clears throat> cool. Mm -hmm. So we need to refine this thing. Identical weapon materials. Not really. Okay. Cool. AoE physical damage. That does not really help her. It is. Well, because it's a bottle, basically. Just a weird shaped one. Ritual vessel passed down amongst the Mesley people of the springs. They say this was once a treasure much valued yet never used by the hero of giant Tupac. Often do I hear people sing, hear them tell tales at this joyous banquet when they gather together. My heart spurs me on to recite a new song for you. I shall strum my strings, weave my melody, strum my song, begin my tale of an ancient ancestor, valiant giant Tupac. I heard it was Shug Knight who killed him. The young heroic Tenok would be enraged to hear this. Like a fierce, fierce gator, a prideful stag, he would have raised his stick high, the talking stick. Quaymore from Battle Pass Part 2 and said to Tubac, why did you come out to sea? Why did you cross the waves? Your ancestor Winuku would not have been so audacious. If you dare oppose me, I shall make sure you end up as fish food. Tupac, built like a mountain, would have laughed upon hearing this like a fierce rhino, a majestic emu. Grasping his drinking horn tightly, he would have replied, how could a weakling like you harm me in the slightest? By right, this drinking horn belongs to me, to the kin of my homeland. If you dare to seize it from me, come wrestle me first. Tupac, built like a mountain, had always been a heroic figure. Once in a fit of rage, he had broken mountains with his bare hands, thrust rocks into the earth to make hot springs bubble up. The hot springs that can now be seen in the southwest are his legacy still visible to this day. Sounds kind of Maui-like. Well, well, at least sort of American Maui, I suppose. There were some people who objected to Moana Maui because since the original one was meant to be a trickster figure, people... Oftentimes people picture him as kind of small. And then they basically just made cartoon Dwayne the Rock Johnson. When he once set out to sea to battle a giant two-tailed whale, tore off the fierce beast's teeth to carry with him. Like the springs of that era, his heart was fervent and obtained. How could the young heroic Tenok possibly hope to impress him? Tupac, built like a mountain, recalled the events of decades past, when he contended with Tenok for the drinking horn. And so he spoke before the Lord of the Blazing Flames. Tupac, built like a mountain, would offer up the drinking horn. He would present it, revealing his final hope, revealing his final hope, thus holding the flame high, thus holding the flame high, even till his final breath, even till his final breath, he had not betrayed his oath, and that interesting repetition there. I wonder what they're specifically meant to be, imitating poetically. This is where my story ends, may the youth remember well. Remember the words I spoke, the legends of the ancients, my father once sang in a golden sea breeze. My mother taught me too when I was young and naive. The years of darkness have long past the calamity subsided. There is always singing above the flowing springs, always feasts when dust begins to fall. But let the new generation remember, lest they forget this warning. Above all else, there are two things that must never be forsaken. Unity and promises. Interesting thing about unity is that... Unity, or they call it Umoja, with the ancient name. That was the one given to Milani. Then Kiniches is Malipo, which in, I believe it's Swahili, basically means vengeance. But they give it the name of, of Turnfire, the meaning of Turnfire, here. Which makes me wonder if 
Presumably, they mean it in the sense of sort of returning fire. Maybe. Hmm. That way. That is the stadium. So what can I get? Is that spending more? Yeah, it's spending more. Big thing is, I'd actually like to explore around Sulphur's Veins before I continue the quest because I want to see how this place is eventually going to change with its world quest. Because it's got to. There's no way it doesn't. What I do wonder is whether it will let me unshatter a Nightjade. Got a shattered Nightjade. I'm wondering how I would repair the thing. Hmm. Sorians, but I wonder how I'm going to unlock this. Maybe if... Oh, hello. Just need to... Hit that and... Oh, presumably I have to dig up from underneath to basically knock it open. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, alright. I really do wonder... What the meaning... Kinesha's stuff is gonna be in the end. I'm excited though. Two, three, burn. Thanks. It's a few of them. Some of these succulents for Kinesh. Eventually. See what happens. So, oh, there is one of those Gistin pillars, and oh, that's kind of cool. It builds this up. Can I climb this, or? Oh, so this is meant to be solid for Gistin. That's interesting. Yep, we can climb that like this, and now, got you over here. Hello there. Hi. Come on. Come on. Hmm. This, if I recall correctly, was a pretty significant part of that world quest. I mean, the Archon quest related. Hmm. Okay. This back down. Seems to be a Monitu over there. Two. Bye. One. Oh, you're gone. Okay. Tyrant's Fang. What to see then? Saurian warrior over there, and some kind of Monitu. But this is kind of outside the radius. It's the thing. Not down over there, though. Also, it's one spot where I could kind of jump in. One of these rifts down here, which, oh, it's probably this. This Monitu will go up now. Yep, now it's going up, so we can dig into here and follow it up to that piece of graffiti. Interesting. That's just a chest. Why does it seem like something changed over there? Maybe I'm blind. Wait, so- oh my goodness, I did not mean to do that. Come on. Okay. Another one of those y over there. What else? And what on the walls? It's gonna be the interesting thing to check. Stuff on the walls, but there is a wild manifestation right over there. Hmm. Let's just try to see what's underneath. Each of these parts, there was a pyroculus right over here. I just want to see if I can get into this little cave system from this part over here. Zoom way it's going to open up, but before that, I wonder if I can kind of go around the back way. That certainly does not seem to be the case. So we'll definitely just explode it. If we're right where it would be, and nothing has yet presented itself. That makes sense, but still. Hmm. See how far down I can go. Waterlogged Ruins doesn't show anything yet. But I'm wondering what this map layer is going to be, because it's farther down than this. But it doesn't show up under that prompt. It's weird. 
wonder if they'd ever try an actual graphical 3D map. Though I wonder what it would do for performance. I feel like to make it useful in any way, shape, or form, it would have to be rather intensive. <laughs> so what is your deal? Hmm. Can I catch that guy? Let me see. Come on, come on. What is going to happen if I throw this at you? Flying squirrel. Oh, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> I imagine it would have led me to something if I hit it with a tremor. Hmm. Well, okay. Small animals with unique body structure. They can spread their wings and use their tough wing membranes to glide on the air currents when jumping from a height. Reaching places that are difficult for other terrestrial animals to reach. After arriving in the expansive and architecturally rich, the realm within. Richer, though, realm within? It's just been realm within. Maybe? The flying squirrel's range of activities is greatly expanded, and their adventurous spirit has grown, making it likely that only Tubby can constantly keep track of their whereabouts. Oh, no, it was just under here. Trevor was just right here. So it was simply notating the area. Okay, that makes sense. Well, let's take out these couple of guys. When is that Y manifestation going to show up? An aggro main thing is limits to what I can do to it. Okay. And other little guy. Hello there. Come on, come on. Full inverted Y is going to be a bother though. Is the thing. Come on, come on, come on. Right, and. You can see us, and it's clearly sense to us, but. Oh, now, now you do your stupid thing. I, I, I may, in fact, hit you. Come on. Put that down. Crystallize. Thank you, and. Thanks, cruel one. Two. Bite, and of course, your resistance. File. Okay. Yeah, I can't do much now. Okay. Gotta wait for Emily and Dia to Let's knock this thing out then. Yeah, if I had Kini Cheer, it would be fine. And the Burgeons wouldn't be a problem, because at least it would be in water, but. Mm, whatever. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is not the kind of thing you fight with Milani, but what other options do I have at this given point in time? Come on. Thank you. Well, alright. One, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. One, two, three. I would hope that the shield is a little less trouble to get down this way, but I... Something- oh, because I'm on water, I get more stuff in Night Soul, that's right. But somehow I got hit multiple times. Talk about a absolute struggle. Come on. It was it drained my energy, too. Come on. Okay. And I'm wait and hope. I think that this shield health goes down every time you actually break its shield, deplete it. I don't know. But it's a rather painful gimmick. Okay. Come on. Virgins are definitely a big part of the problem. If I could be vaporizing, that would definitely help. Whatever. And let's get out of the ring. Thanks. Bite. One, two, three. Bite. One, two. That's gotta be. Yeah, we got less health to take down that time. That's useful. Come on. But it goes down real slow. I don't think it should be in a position to put a shield back up now that we've broken it once. That still took way longer than it should have. No thank you. Okay. Cannot open this up yet. Real question is just 
Where is the piece gonna have to use to... The rift I'm going to have to use to get up under that chest and basically blast it open. Hmm. Either way, the next thing to do is going to be just exploring down underneath in here. Rift in the mountains, so around this way. It's got to hop off. Though some health restoration might help. Probably. It's down there and... Oh, hold on. Before any of that garbage, let's get this started. Thank you, and two, three, bye. Good enough for me. Okay. Well, also, around here we got Kachina doing her thing. Can we... Cannot break that at the moment. We can. Okay, never mind. Just break these open or not. Huh. Crystal beetle. Just a couple of crystal beetles and that's it. I was expecting something a bit more substantial. Got this down here in that. Hmm. I feel like Milani might be able to exploit all that if I angle this just right, but nobody's got a bow at the moment. Hmm. Come on. Oh. Go for the trick shot. Or not. Uh. Oh. Trajectory of this is painful. Maybe what I need to do is just drop Kachina's top over the edge and dip. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what's going to happen now? Well, it actually didn't activate that one. It's actually the craziest part. Come on. Well, of course I can proc that in a run. Just right over here. Okay. Rift over there and something that is clearly abyssal in nature. Obviously, that big hole under that pin is going to open up probably when the pin falls through. Hmm. Water over here. Interesting. Switch and Kachina to climb. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. Bunch of dudes over this way. Somehow, it's gotta be breakable, right? I think. Some of these are supposed to be breakable. These crystals. And does it have to be a Tepetlosaur? An actual Tepetlosaur proper? I mean, it's possible, but. Hmm. Much to think about. But they show up on their elemental sites, so one of them is blocking a chest. So I can't imagine that it's nothing. Hmm. Well, this tuppet was sore had the misfortune of showing up right in front of me, which means death. Not death, just being beaten up and having a few of its teeth knocked out. But presumably they're like sharks. Presumably they're like sharks and. They constantly regrow their teeth, and they actually need to lose a few of them so they don't get crowding issues. That's what I'm going to tell myself. Okay. What kind of tree is that? Whatever. You are going to put this down. Thank you. Come on, get over here. And one, two. Fight. Thank you. So simple. Did any of them fall down, or is a Geobiot manifestation? Mm -hmm. But I think it would do me well to try this. How can you burrow into something entirely flat? That's what I'm asking. Well, of course, presumably, because even in war, it's probably more of a sort of morph into the ground more than it is actual burrowing. Maybe. It's what they'd say if someone asked them. Hmm. 
So, let's try that one more time. See what happens if we... Oh, really? Okay. That doesn't work either. Okay. Just wondering if there was something Kachina could do. I mean, that it, they could do that Kachina could not. And again, it does not seem to be the case. And one, two, fight, back, cool. Simple enough, and that's in there. How are we going to bring the spikes down? Good chance it's just a world quest thing. Like a beat slot. Okay. I think it'd probably be Children of Echoes in here, if anything. Okay. So, we got another encampment. It really is just a sort of. Oh, I bet you have to use these things. Yeah, okay. Question is without a Yumkasaur, how am I going to bring explosive barrels over? There are no flame granites around. It's certainly an interesting question. Okay. Get this going. Thanks. Right. Big bite. And light again. And wait, what? Missile did not go. Weird issue. Wonder why. Okay. Also does not seem as if there were any hmm. chess. Maybe there was one that I got already. It does seem somewhat familiar. Somewhat. Well, this... There is that shadow pin over there. But I feel like marking the spots where... Things I couldn't destroy, especially because if flame grammets come or some other way to destroy them comes up. I'd like to do it. Alright. Well, there is a Phlogiston pillar. Hmm. That might make a difference. God knows. Thanks. And one, two, three, never mind. Right. Oh, that one did not crit. Cool. So what is going to be in here? Answer is, oh, just something to climb. Hello, Kachina. We will hop on up here and... Oh, well, I did not expect that. Okay. Huh. What is this sign? The nearby area is rich in solid Vergistan crystals. Please be careful in moving through it. Basically a matter of fuse that. Then as soon as that happens, we use this to go up, grab this, and... Oh, okay. Didn't like taking that damage. Very clearly. Supposed to go into the cliffside then, after that. Okay. Cool. And... Then we go up. Thank you. Go inside, and... Oh, it keeps going! Oh, wow. Epic Kachina obstacle course. Well, really, you could go inside anyway. This just leads you to it. Is this gonna be that chest, or...? It's gonna be a chest. Okay. Not the same chest, but a chest. That's cool. Sugoku kire dayone. Isn't it so pretty? I think a statue would be good right now. So I don't die from a light tap on the shoulder. What are the campfires over there? There are a decent amount of world quests that aren't really directly pointed out to you. That might be part of one. Maybe. Either way, wondering how I'll get inside there. I also wonder what this all would be like if, was, if I was using Shulanen. <laughs> Can I infuse this now that we've actually sort of beaten things? 
Okay, we still can. It's just the chest is gone, so... Much of the purpose is now gone. So here is that big shadow pin. The only one that is a climbable object instead of a physics object that can't be climbed on. This over here... This is easier to break with Kachina. Can break it normally, but of course... Kachina can do it instantly because it is... Tepet with sore territory, basically. And what will this do for me? The answer is... Just get me up there faster. Okay. Well, that damage was not great to take. At least it wasn't significant. There is a Pyroculus up there. I imagine that this is going to be solid for Gistin, that only Kachina can really climb anyway. Oh, but now that we've... No, only that one stays permanently. The first half of it still disappears. So, yep, since it is a solid Phagistin crystal, Kachina has no problem climbing it. And come on, get your Pyroculus. Get your Pyroculus, girl. And there we go. Okay. Let me see. What else might be over here before I continue through the veins? Hmm. This Paracuel is just sitting up there. Number of capybaras. Hmm. But the main thing is, in this, in the world quest in here, this was originally water. This originally had much less lava. The map changed and made some chests newly inaccessible. And I wonder where they put those afterwards, because in Seirai Island, there were some chests that were on the floating islands that eventually coalesced to form the big island you fought the other manifestation on. Mm -mm. And if you basically progress the far quest long enough, or far enough, that the islands get basically assimilated. The game will move the chest to locations in the water below Serai. And I would imagine that they probably did something somewhat similar. But without 100% confirmation, I'm a little reluctant. Okay. Capture a deer. Nice. Wait, did I have one of those already? Brown deer. Oh, are those in Mondstadt too, or...? Guess it was two deer. Okay. Well, all right. You know, eventually I feel as if capturing enough animals that I could make basically a zoo could be a cool little thing just to do with my time, maybe. Yeah. One of every animal. It is interesting that in Three Realms Gateway Offering, the limited time event that basically revamped Enconomia, that a lot of people disliked because of that. Yeah. I liked it. Because I'm weird. But there were basically special event crystal flies that you could only catch there. The Sangha Corexes. They actually sell them. The Traveling Merchant actually sells them too. Which is funny. So there's stuff down here and... So what map layer is this even going to be? If one at all. Hmm. Something over there, and I... Presumably that's locked behind quest progress. Can't really imagine any other options for something that has a conspicuous red barrier blocking it. Okay. Go up top, thank you, and... What do you know? We got warriors. Hello. And... just like that. Should be better with the fab, because especially since it won't be until C2 that Dia gets boosted at all by Dia gets a duration boost by using her skill a second time. In the second half of her e-skill anyway. Surging harmonies of the spring. Holy crap, a bench. Mm -hmm. At least it's not an anti-homeless bench. 
Can you, can you imagine? You know, that'd be funny if Fontaine had that in the worst possible way. Because there were some weeks before Fontaine came out about the idea that having a sort of basically class conflict based questline. Which did not end up being the case, but some people thought that Numa versus Usia was basically going to be that. Which is interesting, especially since we don't really know what Arca is anyway still. Though I imagine that part of that is just because it's pretty clearly an aping of the... Ah, uh, interesting, so if you switch to... The Children of Echo's character you can see that. Okay. See the vibrations. The good vibrations. The bad ones, too. Qu pretty clearly sort of imaginary and quantum from Honkai. Nearby area is rich in salt. We get some crystals. Please be careful in moving through it. Okay, cool. Alright. Thanks. Well, it is just a... Oh, okay. Not expect that. At least the damage from that actually isn't all that high. Crystal Beetle. Okay. Hmm. Some of these are going to be good things, hopefully. Question is just, what can I actually destroy using Kachina one way or the other? And what will I have to wait for Quest Progress or Yumka Source for? Thank you. So we're getting Quilgiston. But, you over here, another Tepet with Saurus. Hello. So kinda come full circle. Thank you, bye. There we go. It's just... She's just so good. As long as you have any form of... Pyro application. She's jamming. Oh, do I have to walk into those, or...? Huh. There's gotta be something underneath for that. Otherwise, she needs healing, and she's a bad. I'm gonna feed her tofu. Oh, she can't eat anymore. Oops. No tofu for Kachina. But it does seem like I have to sort of bump in. Huh. Okay. Or not? Okay, so some of them are volatile and explosive, and some are definitely not that. Hmm. Maybe hitting some of the other ones makes some of the others volatile? The thing is, until I have a good way to move these things around, and that would require... A Yumkasaur, and I don't know where any new nearby Yumkasaurs are. I'm sure I could find them if I looked around enough. But it's... And the easiest way to do it would just be bring Kine to is not playable at the moment. Oh well. Thank you. Got a chest. We're gonna keep moving around. Oh, do these keep spawning indefinitely until you get all the chests, or this indefinitely period? Well, there are... It seems like things just keep spawning, just in general. Maybe. I guess my question is... How would Shilinen work when she sort of goes over these vibrations? This Kachina does a little mini jump attack. I wonder how Shiwanen's Night Soul mode would get involved. Well, this... This seems okay. I think... Everything there is right here at the moment has been obtained. Alright. Just gonna browse around this weird... minefield. And yeah, that's all. Okay. Yada yada. So they just have a bu They really do just have a bunch of signs that I'll see. That. Same exact thing. Talk about worried. I think, in terms of future abilities, my bet is on the Electrosaurian being this rapid land movement with no climbing. 
That's my bad, personally. Oh, we got an avatar of lava right here. Hello. Oh, water? Oh, there's water here. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Okay. Cool. Get that down. One, two, three. Get that damage bonus. The nice thing is, since we're on water, just like with that Y out, we are consuming not so points basically zero base. It's real nice. One more. I how did that not target correctly? Whatever. Okay. Dwell a Tepitosaurus. Have it attack to activate the resonant box. Okay. Oh, okay, so presumably this is going to Open that up. Oh, nice. So what's in there? Well, it's basically a tepid or den. I feel kind of bad, maybe. Let's see what's in here then. The answer is... Not much? Okay. I bet one of those ring pieces. I'll see. Oh, another broken graffiti mark stone. It's one of those in the ancestral temple too. So I guess they're sort of around world quest related areas. So maybe in the lava river. So there were a few chests that I just deliberately ignored for later there. Hmm. Guess the question is what the graffiti we're going to fix up is going to be and where. So now we have two of these stones, and one of them was a sort of blasting puzzle? Kind of blast things? Yeah, right there. Two of them. I gotta break a rock with a... Fruit? I don't know, flame granite? Maybe. Well... We can get some of this back now. We'll do that. Okay. For now, we can put you down. Crystallize that. Remily will do not much. We'll pray. Oh, and that opened. That was one of the stones, and Kachina opened it up. That's fine. Okay. So, is one of these going to be a. Way up, or... It's another rock and... Oh, we killed the capybara. How sad. Maybe. Uh, so that's farther down. Come on. One, two, three. Bye. Goodbye, baby story. So... Spore down here now. This part of the vein. Interesting. More Tevit with sores, more solid Wilgiston. Top over there is the sort of makeshift bridge we crossed during part of the quest. Let's see what's in here. Go up. That'll just send us up top, okay. So basically if you fall down during the quest, that allows you to sort of Continue more quickly. Okay. Let's open this up. Let's see what's inside. Thanks. Okay, just beetles. Hey, it's a good thing. She's a little slow when it's an auto because otherwise they would have killed those beetles and I would have gotten nothing but particles. I wonder what is up top there. It's in a general sense. Let's see. Answer is a cool camera angle. Oh, huh. If I get that, oh, we got more particles all around this Fulgiston crystal. And that just gets me a rock. No, a chest. And that 
Not that much. Pretty sure that any of the precious chests can sometimes contain one of the three ring pieces. Because one of those artifact one of the artifact juices is always behind space you get by combining three of those fragments into a ring. But we're not there yet, so to speak. Okay, well. Got a couple of tepidly sores to beat up. Down here for more Kunit Saurian things. Be alright. He really does just have an incredibly unique kick. It's very cool. Okay, come on. Get over here. Got both of you in the radius of Dia's business. And go for a bite. And there we are. That's all I needed to see. Okay. It's down on that lower level. So before I actually keep going to the quest, see what's here and then go that way. Side passage does not yet have any actual access. Which makes sense. Okay, a chest. Let's damage me. Will not damage me. Interesting. This is so plain with something that is going to break. It is interesting that they stopped telegraphing what is going to be broken or moved and what will not be by way of what shows up as a white silhouetted physics object or not. No, it's not that there are white objects that don't move, it's just that sometimes things move, move that are not white objects. And almost always anything that is a white object. I would say always, but it's important to qualify these statements is going to move or be interactable in some way eventually. Okay. Some crystals over there. I want to get to the very, very top of the big pin over there. See what's up with that. So it is kind of floating. Ah, just under that. Okay. Couple more of you. Kira kira. Some shiny. Oh. Oh, we got another fissure. What is this, Pokemon? Okay. Come on. That just leads to that part. We did that for the first part of that quest line. But it is cool how they're just ways to quickly climb, even if they don't lead to treasure. Suppose my question is just if the Electro Saurians and therefore Collective of Plenty characters are going to be all about overland movement quickly without the ability to climb, which again I think would make sense for them, raise the question of what the Ice Ones would do, what the Cryo Ones would do. This. I feel like this is going to go somewhere eventually. I feel like it has to. Come on. One, two, three. Bye. Thank you. Okay. And we just got a couple more typically swords here at the basically the entrance. Okay. Hello there. Hi. One, two. Just like that, and oh my goodness. Pencil transmission. Right. One, two, three, right, and there we are. That one actually hadn't died. Weird. So now we use Kachina to hit this big rock. It's got a few more. Cutscene was long enough that we missed a bit. Anything we can bounce off of. And a few more of these. We don't have a lot of Phlogiston is the thing. And, uh, okay. Huh. Oh, come on. That's uncomfortable. At least there's no time on it. Come on. Wait, but... There's no Phlogiston. No, there is a time on it. We need more Phlogiston and we need to not fall off. 
Hello, Dendro. I mean, Geo. Wild manifestation. Let's just pretend I didn't mess up like that. Okay. So. Over. Hit that. Cutscene is not helping things. Okay. Keep on moving. Climb as much as possible, I think. And. Hmm. Not perfect, but. I that! Definitely hurts things. As that seems to knock me off the wall. Yeah! That's really strange, so I guess I need to leave that one for last. I don't like that. Get that full piston back. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Do these with some semblance of order. Come on. Right, and hit the right one, and then... Oh, well, I... Now that's strange. I feel like there's gotta be a way to stay around there without knocking myself off, but maybe there isn't. Hmm. You know, plainly... It would be easier with the actual Saurian, but that feels like defeat to me. They give me Kachina, I'm going to do it with Kachina. Now that works. Something up with that, and finally. Does that break that? Yep, it breaks it. Okay, that was fun. Seems like she doesn't take fall damage from that. Oh, and there was a Night Soul totem hidden behind that. Well, that's fun. That's what I like to see. So the others that we've seen so far had nothing in their way, so to speak, but this was a Night Soul totem. Nice. Night nice Soul. Which one is this? I think it's gonna be the dodge one. Let's draw trial of mobility. Dodging your foes attacks will greatly increase the damage dealt by all your party members. Yeah, let's let Kachina do this. Okay. Oh, there. Tatsuko Modo, explorer of the Golden City. Okay, you have to dodge through. Dodge, 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 oh, okay. Mm. Dodge, that time slow event effect is real cool. Dodge, dodge, oh my goodness. Sometimes that's a bad idea. Dodge, next is it five, I think? Dodge. Okay. Come on. Dodge, do dodge. Okay. Mm. Dodge. Yep, it maxes out at six. Huge damage boost when that happens. They're gonna shield. Do dodge. Ooh. Dodge. One, three, and five. Tough combo. Dodge. 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 I, okay. Huh. Do oh my goodness. Dodge. 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 Ah. Wow. Legitimately got hands. Dodge. Oh. As soon as you see that. Dodge. Okay, you can dodge out of the way. You have to be within a certain distance. Oh my. Uh, wow. Perfect dodge conditions for this are actually rather onerous. Okay. Come on. Dodge. 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 Or not. Dodge. 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 Oh, what? 
Oh, wow. I need three stacks to beat you. Main thing is, you have to use those perfect dodges, basically. And three more should kill. Dodge. Basically, we have to go for safe attacks above all else. I'm gonna do this without getting hit. Dodge, 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 or not. Okay. Come on. Dodge, and. There we are! Okay. Let's heal up and try again. I do kinda wanna let Kachina do it, though. The attacks that aren't entirely perfectly dodgeable. Hmm. Yep, defeat local legend. Totsuku Little. Golden City is presumably an El Dorado thing. So that one is lit up now. Well, that was a cool thing to just stumble upon. Okay. And see now it's got some blue speckles to it. That's cool. Now let's heal up and try to not die. Thank you. But just see. During the course of completing a single challenge, a break Tatsuko will shield each time with a single attack, which means you have to You have to get three stacks of the buff. But the final one is just beat him without taking any hits, which I think shields can actually maybe help you do that too. You know, we can take a hit but not take damage, maybe. But I like this guy. Should fight him more. I really am excited to see what they pull out of the next Night Soul ones. The Night Soul ones were just the open world ones, Kosio, Tristar, Sappho. And Bolashko do try to be interesting puzzles, especially Kosijo. But all of them. To really make things interesting, that. So if you touch that instantly, you dodge as soon as you see the flash. Mm, no, we did it too early. Okay. Not. Oh, I lost. I lost some of that buff. Hmm. Okay. Dodge. I, I think letting Dio do this is okay, actually. One, two. Dodge. Hmm. You need to be a certain degree of close. Mm, and we did that too early. Dodge. Oh, okay. Not enough. Okay. Main thing is, there is no way to kill him without him shielding. Pretty sure. Yeah. Thank you. Even if I get six, that's just gonna be 96% of it HP taken, 72, and then 24 more. Oh my goodness. That is strange. Dodge. Thank you. Just not taking a single hit. Okay. That's six, and you see. Now he's gonna put a shield up. Thanks. That's an attack you just need to stay away from. Okay. Dodge, dodge, dodge. I, okay. Hmm. I really do want to let Kachina do that last fight. Okay. So he broke that shield in one hit. 
Oh, we even have Night Soul here. It's interesting. Hmm. But of course, that perfect evasion is crucial. Dodge! Okay. So we got the second achievement, and then... I'll figure stuff out with Kachina. Okay. Make sure I don't take a single hit. That's... During the course of completing a single challenge, break Totsukul shield each time a single attack. Defeat Totsukul without being hit by any attacks. Alright. I guess we'll try that. I wonder which one is the one that's the closest. That was... Shmoe's Aegis. That was He Never Dies. This one is... Totsukul. Whose name is actually a lot easier to remember than I would have thought. Good stuff. Okay. Come on, Kachina. Dodge! Thank you. Dodge, dodge. Dodge. Ooh, nice. So now you'll shield up. Thank you. Dodge. Thanks. Two. Dodge. Hmm. Limits to that. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Hmm. Okay. Dodge. And we broke it. So now we just need six stacks to end you. Okay. Come on. You can do this. Dodge. Five more stacks. Dodge, 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 hmm, too close, one big hit, dodge, okay, and dodge, dodge, ooh, we even got that one too, okay, one final stack, and you're dead, goodbye, no hit stacking, thank you Kachina. That's three out of six of this version's Night Soul Totem is maxed out. I mean, Night Soul Totem via proxy is maxed out. Once we get all 11, there's no way that something absolutely massive doesn't happen. Just when we light this all up, are we gonna meet the Lord of the Night? Are we gonna meet the. Yagami or the Yagami no Kuni. Because in Japanese, it's not Night Kingdom, it's Night God's Kingdom. And I want to see, I want to meet that Night God. Okay. So I guess the only thing left to do is to climb up. This big pillar. But... The implementation of a perfect evasion mechanic... Is real, real cool. That's something they have in Honkai 3rd. And I do wonder how much of... The way that these Night Soul Totem bosses are working in terms of just all of their mechanics... Is sort of a dry run in terms of... What would the players think if we made them... Some sort of permanent mechanic. I... Mm -hmm. Oh, right, they're around here. It's one. Oh, hello. Pyro Crystal Fly. And I can't get that one. Well, I could've, but I messed up. And there should be another, I would imagine. Right over here by that squirrel. How did I not see this? Well, it was on the other side of that wyob. And that's open now. Oh, okay. So when we open this... Oh, there was a precious chest inside. Well, that's amusing, conceptually. You know, they can do that if they like, I suppose. A chest inside a chest. Chestception. Hmm. 
So in that case, I think, go back down. Let's see what's on that weird pillar. Goes up there. These Fulgissan crystal walls that I don't imagine could be climbed up by anyone other than a Children of Echoes character anyway. Let's have you do it. Let's see what is actually up top here. The answer is... A burden. Oh, there was a luxurious chest here. It rewarded my efforts. Okay. Still no ring. Hm. Like I said, people say that the placement of the ring was randomized. The ring pieces is randomized between any precious tier level chest, which presumably means that stuff better than precious would not have it, but... Okay, the connection here is flimsy enough. There's no way that this doesn't just break. Okay, well, we'll come back. And definitely just drop this thing to get underneath. But it does interest me that despite the error on this shadow pin being lower physically than this map layer. It doesn't have its own map layer right now, it's just the top layer. And what's interesting is that they finally gave us, for the very first time, upper layers for the upper sanctum over there, because it's above the normal map layer. But still... Okay. That... Perfect evasion challenge. That was really, really cool. Aside for the parry one. But again, I'm glad that they... I'm glad I didn't know it was coming there. There's some things I like to know, such as, you know, where specialties are and... What characters need to level, but... That was a good surprise. Okay, so there were some enemies over here before. Last time was you were guarding the way in. Is no longer the case. Wonder where a teleport waypoint might be around here. It's gonna be more of those ruins. Thing up top? Does not really seem like it. Proculus. There it is! Okay. Continue on our shadow pin. Abyss Ceiling Adventure, and there's the second one, and there's also one of those inscriptions over there. Hello, thank you. It's Rift in the Mountains, which is starting to get close to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame, actually. I mean, the basin, or basin, of unnumbered flames, that is. Okay. So before we touch that inscription... Let's get a fight started. Come on. Thank you. One, two, three. Try. Oh my goodness. That would have been an insta otherwise. We can touch that or we can not do that. Let's see what else is around here before we're given permission, more or less. Come on. Iron junk, iron junk. How is this place going to change? Got a crack with abyss seeping through. Honestly, as player unfriendly, quote unquote, as it was being, it'd be real cool if standing over those areas inflicted corrosion on you like a Rift Hound does. Especially since Rift Hounds show up as enemies in these quests anyway. As right now, they are the only sort of unique pure abyss enemy. We have those. Sort of purple mitotrols and purple saurians, but it's not all that much, really. Kind of a cheat option. Well, let's see what's past here. Clearly, Kachina is wanted and needed. Oh, but. Get up there. Oh, because presumably otherwise we'd have to climb, but... Opening up the area for what is 
going to have to be one of those sort of collect the particles before the abyss progress bar catches up to your progress bar thing. And it, why is it always flammable wood? There's one other kind of wood in here that I've just not found yet. Hmm. Come on. Over here. Inside. When it stays on the wall. Okay. Oh, but it seems as if until we use the shadow pin, there's no way out of here. But this clearly destructible wall that does not show up under elemental sight is going to get destroyed during the quest somehow. Okay. Well, time to actually engage with the content of the quest line. They said it would never happen. I don't know who they is. Okay. Either way, with pseudo tepid with sore abilities, suitable a four star character. The ability to Kachina for this, such the other. Inscription. And oh, a lot of things just broke open. Well, time for the minigame. Strange, the golden pad just flew right over just as before, but the inscription hasn't appeared beneath this pillar. Why is that? That indicates that not only has the inscription been squeezed out, but it's also become fragmented. This is bad. We need to find any scattered bits and fast. So where do we find them? I don't know either. Huh. They should still be held down by some power despite being scattered, so my guess is that they're nearby. Maybe we just need to look around. Rawr, rawr. When you want to go over, we're doing something important right now. We'll play with you later, all right? Rawr, rawr, rawr. Do you mean that the inscription is over there? Rawr. Oh, well, I've heard that even now there are still swords. You can sense an inscription's power, but I always thought it was hearsay. Could it be true? I suppose you really are no ordinary tepid with swords, Theodorix. So you can do that too, huh? Hmm. You've got some way to go before you can be as good a god as Paimon. Hmm. Paimon's jealous. See, Paimon's praising you. Well, that's true, but don't let it go to your head now. Er, er. Sorry, the little guy didn't catch that at all. Ah, if only he was a little smarter. I'm sure he'll understand someday. Precisely, those in the tribe responsible for story and care always say that it takes time to truly establish a rapport with them. Secret success is as follows. Well exercise patience and constantly communicate. Whether humans wish to understand Sorians or Sorians humans, they both need lots and lots of time. Truths like Palmont didn't get what Theodorix was trying to tell us just now either. Sorry, Theodorix. Rawr, rawr. Be quick to reply, though. Palmont will give you that. All right, we'll follow you and see if we can find any golden patterns. Find the inscriptions scattered in other locations. So over there. Two of those spots just broke open. Up top and over that way, presumably. So we will use our abilities. Oh, okay, so that... Can't get that open at the moment. Or can we? Red metal key. Key you found the sulfur veins, who knows with the door it unlocks and lead. Huh. I, just in case, let's mark this for later and... Did I see that beforehand or not? Imagine I would have, but lots of things that get hidden. Well, it's time for the fissure. Come on. I had to chat with the guy a little. Graffiti just telling us which way to go. Oh, so we probably have to go to that mural area over there first. Makes sense. Okay, and all right. And two, three, five, and... Oh, wow. Well, I guess it just took some, took some time for that missile to actually hit. Hello? Yimono, something good. So what is over here? What is over there? We have... Hello, Trill, sitting over this way, and... Saying that might explode? Maybe. Come on. Two, three, five. Okay. Clearly we have to break this open, but that won't go yet. Hmm. If I open this up with Kachina, will that work or hmm. not yet. Looking up won't show me anything new at the moment. So I need to just follow the path prescribed. Alright. 
Oh, there, that was actually a more rock. I wasn't paying enough attention, clearly. So... Allow me to continue. Here we go, we found ourselves at this interesting temple. Search for the inscriptions, and here you are. Okay. Hmm. I... Seems like it's going to be down in there. Based on what I see again. Come on. Um, right, and well, alright. Thanks. And... Yeah, you mean here, but this place is empty. Clearly, it's time to start digging. Rar, rar. Dig downwards? Wait, surely the iridescent inscription is not down there, is it? By the way, down. Clearly, we just dig that and it sends me further down. I mean, farther down. Just want to see what's in here. Answer to that question is. Let's grab this mushroom. Whatever this is. Okay, oh, huh. Come on. I think this is blocked up by a wall of light. This is very unified civilization architecture. These thin, tall doorways and. Emphasis on angles. Mm -hmm. Well, break this and. Ah, uh, investigate. Get all these and crystal beetle. On the chest and. Check. I'll well, be careful. Oh no, I. Okay. Oh, and we're forced to fall. Okay. Gun here. There is a. Oh, this is interesting. It's kind of for shatter, but. Ah, and now it's Hydro. These are the waterlogged ruins. Okay, so this will show up behind when we get back up. This isn't... Yeah, but now we're in the basin. Okay. Well, we've been in the basin. Okay, get over here. Stop spitting at me and get over here. Absolute spit addict. And, come on. Oh, and right, we're on top of the water now. Thank you. Right, we're gonna die going. We're still in epic night soul mode. And, another fight. Even with a res. Shield and would help with that. Okay. And, it's pretty good to have here. Okay. Can we can even get that fish? Okay. Three. Oh, but it seems she's too high up to actually get that focus in crystal, which is interesting. Activate. Fun. Get that and oh, there's the inscription. Oh, so the iridescent inscription is here after all. Traveler, all you have to do is touch it. Roar. Oh, and it's okay. The water suddenly drained upwards? Wait. Oh, wait. Is that because we were with Milani and it glitched out? That kind of seems like that's the case. Yeah, it... That does not seem right to me. That's... Try that again. I get, I get the feeling that something has just gone horribly, horribly wrong. If I teleported out of here, part of me also just wonders what's happening. That's up on top. Very, very clearly. It... Was maybe it would have kicked me out of Kahola Source, but not out of Milani, but that was strange. Presumably, the event should repeat if I try that again and it should actually put me up top on the water. Hey, huh? 
That was one heck of a weird occurrence. It's actually, honestly, more surprising that something would work with the character. I mean, with the dragon, but not the character. Because you would imagine, well, if you were presuming that everything they did would be as money-grubbing as possible, you would presume probably that the character would work, but the rest not. Okay, well, let's try this again. We're over here, and we go Milani mode. Keep this Flagissim going. No, let's just see if we rise with it. Yep, so that kills them all, but we rise with it. Yep, that's what's supposed to happen. However... <laughs> Hi, hi. Yes, so. Alright. To have actually saw this normally, I don't imagine that anything good would have happened if we had tried some other way. But seriously, so this guy was on behind the water rising just now. Why, that mechanism will let us lower the water level. <laughs> well, I thought we might have been able to avoid that. Not the case. So we can operate that. Lower it a bit. Mechanism's broken. These ruins are very, very old. It's a miracle that the water control still works at all. This is up in the air. Looks like we'll have to try to find another way. Okay. Just spawns another one of those in. So if you're supposed to just gradually step by step and lower it. I like that. If only it actually worked as intended. Hmm. Activate. So then. That. Okay, so those crystals don't work like that. Maybe if I had key nature, I could maybe toss a we'll get some barrel at them. What did that just do? Oh, okay. So, lowered the water in a limited area. No, lowered it other places, too. Okay. So now we can actually touch the inscription normally. Instead of cheesing the entire thing and maybe breaking the entire game. Or at least this whole area. I... Really was better safe than sorry with this one. Mm -hmm. So, it's behind here, if anything. Probably if I flicked one of those switches, it would maybe work on the other two? Maybe. Surprise, I haven't found any real ruins yet. What a thought for sure. Okay. Well. Oh, okay. Well, that's news to me, and not good ones. Okay. And one, two, and bite. Oh, goodness. Two, bite, bite, and. Don't think any missiles hit there. Whatever. Hmm. Get back through. Kachina can handle this. I also can just... Touching it. Chest is right there. Okay. So we can just touch that thing. And should be alright. Probably. Anything over here? Nothing. It's... I guess it just sort of notates how well it's gone. So that just sort of climb back up top there if you feel like it. Hello. Does that open that? No. Huh. You would think something would open that. Eventually, maybe. I don't know. Just look around a little more before I actually touch that inscription. See what's up top over here. 
And it's a couple of barrels, but... Which I suppose you could use to blow up the crystals if you really felt like it, but... Again, it's just sort of a... I don't think I'd be winning any prizes. And beneath the crystal rock, follow the inscription back to the Lesser Shadow Pin. Oh, and we get to write it as a spirit way. That's fun. Let's do it like this. Oh, and there you are. Hello. Aha! It's gonna open that, presumably. We got a chest there. I just want to see anything down on the way, and it certainly does not seem like it. But, can't do it in the air, but if you shark, you can jump onto it. Okay. So what's around here, then? Anything? It's a couple of frogs. I mean, a wizard and a mushroom. Okay. Hmm. Ah, you know what? Empty space is important. Not everything can have something. So I'm gonna say. This presumably opens the way back. Hello. Investigate. Ah, that's where the red metal key is. Key found the sulfur spades. You know it was where the door to unlocks me lead. Okay. So you just gotta go from the other side. Okay. Okay. We will continue touching this inscription. But what just happened? Just had to shake a little to work. So. Oh, but wait. Let me see. Yeah, okay, both of these are things we haven't gone to. There's nothing for scions. So it's just two medium-sized quests that are separate. The tree one and the temple one. I think it's Basin has one that unlocks after this, because I did see a Saurian Relics guy around Basin during the Archon quest, but I couldn't interact with him. I think it was a messed up flag or something. Okay. Let's open this. Use the red metal key. Open the iron gate. And get whatever is in here. Whatever all this is. Gonna be another one of those rocks, or... Interesting looking rock. It... It's just free treasure. Okay. If you remember that this place exists. Cool enough. Now I suppose it's time for the actual minigame. Can't imagine it would be started anywhere but there. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Here we are. The pieces. Uh, I thought, why surely the eggshell should be complete now. Really into metaphors. Complete the sealing ritual, all the iridescent inscription should be met in Let's head down below the lesser shadow pit to take a look. Have to do another peace gathering ritual? Yeah, probably. Okay. Oh, well. Ah, just as I thought, the iridescent inscription is now displayed beneath the lesser shadow pit. Right here, just like before, to re restore the inscription's power, simply reach out, reach out, and touch it. Our own personal inscription. Interval, tap it with source, start the challenge, break the spikes first, be careful. Bye, y'all. Rar. Gravestone pillar. The drop down salt focus and nail. We've already done this. In salt focus and nail challenges, you must break and gravestone pillars. To collect the inscription's power, sword within to repair the iridescent inscription that causes the floating salt focus and nail to punch back into the ground. The more you collect, the more you further the iridescent inscription's repairs. Cover the dark power trap beneath these salt focus and nails will oppose the inscription's repair. Collect enough power to complete the repairs before the darkness overwhelms the entire process. 
The conflict between inscription's power and the darkness is so fierce that it can change the terrain, even producing unstable fluorescent crystals that explode when you are nearby. So stay vigilant as the challenge proceeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And over there. I did not mean to do that. Okay. More Fulgiston. One over that way. Gotta avoid the bad ones. We might not be fast enough. I might not be quick enough on the ball. Okay, well, there were a couple in there. Most of the unstable ones worked too, but... Yeah. Oh, rumbling and... Oh, there's lava. What is this, spleef? Maybe, honestly. Now I got a wall climb. Ooh, now we can enter that. To just survive, I suppose? Okay. And Kachina. There we are. So how much of this is just going to be naked lava by the end of all this? Oh, goodness. This is going down, down, down. Okay. Keep on moving. Keep that we'll get some going. Oh my ooh wow. One of them disappeared. I would presume they have spares. Oh, okay. We'll activate a few along the way. And there we are. So presumably we're supposed to see that one disappear. Maybe. We didn't even have to fight any reptiles, I guess. Huh. And that explodes that pathway back. Quicker way to the third and final nail, and presumably something will be up with it. We what we did it. The two shadow pins have been plunged back into the earth. Roar. Nice work. Another round of applause couldn't hurt. I clapped my hands till they fell off if I could, but then I couldn't write another story, so forgive me for not doing so. So I assure you that in my heart, not but bones remain attached to my wrists. Roar. Oh yeah, that's getting kind of creepy. Really? Hmm, and here I thought that kids these days like their stories with a little dash of darkness. Now watching the shadow pit and burrow back to the ground really takes a load off my soul. One standing tradition dictates that we now only need to check the third lesser shadow pit and the greater shadow pit and get the big one that's going to fall down and break that. We had all presumably and call this a job well done, abyss successfully busted, not to return for a good long time. The rest of this trip should be quite safe, so feel free to come along and chat with me. I'd like to know the heroes and inscribing into our tribe stories better, you know? Ah, in that case, you gotta say something like this. The mighty Paimon was as tall as a mountain. In that case, I'd like to be as large as two. Roar, roar, roar. For three? Hey, what do you mean by that, little guy? You wanna be as tall as three mountains? I was right. Maybe. Roar. Ah, Theodorix, you truly are soaring to prodigious appetites. No, no, no larger than two. Roo. Ah, uh, sure, sure. In that case, my brave warriors. Paimon is tall as a mountain. I travel with the statue of two, and Theodorix is the bulk of three. Will you kindly come with me, too, to the poor little human-sized dwarf to check on that last little shadow pin? Head to the last lesser shadow pin right over there. And yeah, we have a bunch of lava just around there. Huh. Does not seem as if any of that is particularly notable. That said... Over on the other exact opposite side, maybe. I don't know. Okay, actually, no, that was just the original spot that had us climb up the wall. Well, that's interesting, and now they even changed it to reflect the change. The lava. Fuck. So, we'll check on the last one. Helps you to resolve the shadow pin issue and reinforce the seal placed upon the abyss, yeah. Okay. Well, hi there. That. Break that. Maybe? Well, that kind of helps. It didn't take much damage, either. So, what is this going to open up? Oh, this just goes up top. Okay. So, now it's just open, open. Alright, so... What's the catch going to be with this last one? Actually, the catch is... Uh, Free to play form. Now we got the Pyroculus there. What is this gonna be? Here is our little Saurian. Wonderful, it's solid, almost as if it was grown from the very soil, more robust even than the roots of the great mother tree that grows beneath the sides of the canopy's mountain cliffs. Now I can head back and take up my shift in peace. With the three lesser shadow pins, the most reliable you remained. It's gonna break, right? 
Well, I should ever pen a tale about the pins transforming to lovely tribes with them. You should be loveliest amongst them. <laughs> well, so you were the most interested in stone pillars all along, huh? Shocking. Yeah, now that's ignorant speaking. You are not alone. You believe that pure spirit and intelligence dwell within all things. For us, things taking on human form is a most traditional theme. For example, the tale of a beech tree's shadow that transformed into a young woman and a young flower feather plant tribes who fell from the sky. The story of a man who was human by day, but would morph into a story under the moonlight at night. Many are the ways such tales are told, but they're all variations on the same theme I spoke of. Is that really true? Seems a little dubious to me. Cough? Well, that is what a lot of stories say. That much I'll swear to be as one who tells tales as storyteller. But what about the shadow pin story, then? There's no real shadow of the volcano lord, is there? And if the shadow is the abyss, then what is a pin, really? Aha, uh -huh, you're a lot sharper than I thought, little Paimon. Let's see, and oh, the signs are over there. Let's see where should I start with such a story. Long ago, the mountain range where the children of Echoes made their home was not as it is today. It was more normal, more complete, more lovely. Everything changed when the Conrian catastrophe struck. Conrian catastrophe? Indeed, not one's ley lines were always special and somewhat delicate. And so this calamity brought utter, utter devastation. And they say that the night king was severely damaged in that disaster. And the totem pole's lights grew dim, and the wild could not hear the tribe's cries. And up on land, a dark tide of disaster blazed toward the mountain range, brought on by two Conrian soldiers. It was they who were the source of the troubles. I wonder if we'll meet or f and or fight them eventually. Conrian Soliders. That's right, at the time, the tribe's leader had gone forth to the Lone Island in the west. The west. So check out that one? To resist the giant beasts. Elder Traore had no choice but to contend with the abyss and those two abject Conrians. Or maybe two of the sinners? Finally, the tribe's warriors and Saurians, exhausting their spirit, flesh, and blood, found a way to use the iridescent inscriptions fashioning giant stone nails out of solid phogiston. And then they wouldn't be stone, would they? And Elder Traore was first asleep in the dark pit, crying, The abyss should ensnare death. Let us flip this script. With death and sacrifice, we shall ensnare the abyss. The brave warriors followed him in, and after much sacrifice, the abyss was at last sealed beneath the earth. This is the true tale of the past. Even the children of Echoes who excavate solid phogiston and gems for a living Know that the full guessing around the stone nails must remain untouched. So that's the story. It happened five centuries ago, and yet you made it sound like it was something you saw yourself. That's a storyteller's duty. I love my work, and amongst all the tales I tell, I love the stories of these heroes the most. Not a nimble fellow, nor am I the best fighter. If anything, I'm the furthest, th furthest thing from a hero. When I tell their stories, I feel like I'm right there traveling, adventuring, and fighting alongside them. Feel them smile upon me, egging me on as if standing in the shadows of the bonfires, listening to me as they would a friend bragging of their exploits. And perhaps that is how I fight alongside them, by ensuring that their stories will be passed down and remembered from generation to generation. Well, hmm, wait a second, so what does that elder story have to do with the Volcano Lord, and what do Shadow Pins have that name? Hmm. Well, I never turned the fan on. Ah, oh, still thinking about that, Paimon. It's simple, it's just a little play on words commonly done in many stories. It's called a shadow pin. Is it pin shadow? It's easy, right? Err. Erg. Wow, the two of you made the same noise. That's not where Paimon thought this was going. Wait, what's going on? You're shaking up and down travel. It's the ground that's shaking, Paimon. It's the nail. And boom, Tito's awful jape. Come on, my joke wasn't that disastrous. It's the big shadow pin. That's where the tremors are coming from. Something's wrong. Come on, we need to get back there. Why did this? We drove all three lesser pins into the ground, but the abyss's influence is getting stronger. It's impossible. The woven scroll stories clearly state that things our experiences do not prepare us for do sometimes happen. It's more accurate to say that accidents happen so often that even Paimon stopped being surprised. Could it be that some change has overtaken the abyss surging within the ley lines, causing its resistance to grow stronger? Either way, it feels like something terrible is happening down there. Why don't we try getting a closer look? Roar. Please do, Traveler. Investigate the area beneath the canyon. Ah, so it'll break open. We need to go down there, and... T2 is not currently here at the moment. Oh, okay, so it's just top layer for now, but clearly... There's gotta be another layer. Might show up entirely differently, maybe. It's gonna drop and break open, or at least break open, right? Oh, or... There are riftdowns. Wow, where do all these monsters come from? Eek, they're pitch black. Take care of them quick. Oh, so is... The dragon gonna help? Uh, maybe. Come on. 
Thanks. Bye. Bye. And bot again. And oh, we got a few more. What are those people here of all places? Watch out, those are the fabled Night Soul Warriors who got tangled up with the Abyss. Ah, okay. No, they're not good guys anymore. So it seems. Come on. Fight! And just a few more. Oh, come on. Fight! And. Couple more. Fight! Again. Not as hard as the other ones we've seen. And gotta dig down, right? No travel cat out of the way. The shadow pin up there was about to come crashing down. Okay, so there's just a cutscene. It's fun seeing the dragon get out of the way, and that's how we're going to get to the next part. Yep. Obvious enough. Traveler Pamon Theodoric's are going unhurt. I actually ran towards it. <laughs> if that was modeled, Milan would be dead, dead. Hamon's okay, kinda. Ooh. Well, you don't want to injure Theodorix at the big poor scary just now. We did see him run away. Good to see they were okay. Snip, I was pretty frightened too. There's no way I'd get injured with that much smoke around. What does that even mean? Carful, that was a lucky break amidst our misfortune. This cloud of smoke is huge, every bit as large as the plumes of volcanic ash hurled out by the volcano ward in the stories. Still, Palmon didn't think that the big shadow pit would come crashing down and bore such a big hole in the ground. But so that's not, to be honest, I don't know what comes next. Well, we can always inspect that hole first. For all we know, maybe this isn't too big a deal, right? It would be the right moment for some sort of ironic twist after all. You know, like how a bandit finds that the treasure he spent half his life searching for is actually worthless. Perhaps this place we've guarded for centuries has been empty all along. Maybe we'll find that the story of the Shadow Pins is about a five centuries old prank that some bored ancestor of ours came up with. Sorry, I know I'm rambling, but I can't help but be nervous. Either way, I have no clue what we'll find down there, but still, I, I will go. Me too, then. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll come with you. It doesn't look too serious. It's just a really big hole, right? Just the normal kind of big, really. The shape's kind of ugly, too. I'd only give this hole three stars. When did you become some kind of cavity connoisseur? A dentist? Huh? Sure, we've seen lots of these, but... Hmm... Ra ra, gaga la la. Hey, don't you copy when he's being a bad role model? You don't want to pick up bad habits. That's where the greater shadow pin fell. It seems it's gone down much deeper than I imagined. It's almost like there was a huge open space down there to begin with. Right, this huge space can't have appeared because the shadow pin fell through it. it. Must have been here long before with the shadow pin suspended above it to prevent anything that might crawl up from surfacing, perhaps. Ooh, so we gotta go down and kill it. Anyway, things look alright over here for now. I'll report this back to the tribe later. Kiss Arog- uh, Ooh. Calamity Pain. Save. Er, wh what was that? Crew Roar. I heard a voice. What's wrong? You all don't look so good. Especially you, Titu. That's as I feared. The adjacent inscription on the pin must have sent something down there causing it to fall. That legend is real. The spirits of the fallen Conrian soldiers are about to emerge. Roar. Not re-emerge. T2, are you okay? Well, I guess because they didn't emerge as spirits originally. Not really, I'm afraid. That voice. So cold, so coarse. Just listening to a few syllables is like running my brain across sandpaper. Well, if it's that bad, why don't you stay here and keep watch just to make sure no one falls in at all. And as for us, we'll go down and see what's happening. No, you can't. It's dangerous down there. There's no reason you should be put in more peril, and I'll not be the one to do it. We've exchanged names, but not blows. That makes us friends. Huh, so I'll protect you. So calm in the face of danger, or are you used to it, or is this just the natural result? Possessing overwhelming strength. Well, let us go down together then, though I do not have the power to resist the abyss. I, as, I'm, as I'm one who tells tales, a storyteller, I might be of some help regarding that below not one's surface. Besides, to witness things to their completion is a storyteller's duty. Well, let's take five first. Once we're ready, let's head into this cavernous cavity, shall we? Okay, no more corny jokes. Peace to the slumbering, check the hole below. The greater shout up and falls, open a huge hole in the ground. Hmm. It's raining shadow pins. I guess so. Top over there is 
Nothing and nothing there. It's just sort of the spot I dropped down from. I... Let's go up real quick. Conveniently place to teleport waypoint then. Just hop right down. Okay. So... We'll see what's over there then. Oh, but maybe the reason that lower level might show up as an upper level for the different cave whose existence was supposed kind of being kept secret in the most generous sense possible. Yeah, you go down here and there's nothing in that area. There were a few particles to look over there, but that was about it. All right. This is where it was. Can we even see the thing anymore? What? Ah, such agony will leave. The voice is becoming clearer as though it were in my head. Okay, it's right there. Your orcs whine. Any other teleport waypoints that I can see? Presumably. Okay. That. Oh my goodness. This one is sort of hedge in. Just as I thought, the iridescent inscription that was supposed to be on the Shadow Pit and seems to have fallen to the pit as if we're sensing something. Let's figure out what the inscription is responding to. Why don't you touch it? It's probably going to hedge us in, right? Maybe. Touch. It opens up. Okay, that doesn't close, though. I guess they're all just opening. Maybe. I feel like if those are still showing up, it might... Go behind me? Check the hole below. What about just part of the below? Land of Myriad Megaliths. Oh, and this is the one that's kind of like Mario Odyssey. Oh, why is there a stone tablet here? It might have been left by tramp soak in the past. That happens quite often around here long ago. This is a boundary marker telling you that you've crossed the line. Sometimes find stones with patterns carved in white on them throughout our lands that serve the same purpose. They've just all been abandoned for. So that's what's happened. Boundaries and borders are no laughing matter here between the living and the dead, within and without, above and below. We those who have crossed these lines can grasp the dangers they face. It is said that there was once a stone tablet in an ancient ruin that read thus. If any tread past this stone with ill intent, mine hand shall drake Kwama come and grasp their neck shall I. Ill intent. Or wait, what if the stone tablet has some sort of warning or curse on it then? I can tell at a glance for it left this here to think that sigh. I think we ever heard that name. Oh, that's the Elder who fought against the Abyss. Rar. Let me see real quick. T. That's for Ore, the Chief of the Mines during the Cataclysm of Sunjata. Ah, oh, you're quite the avid listener. Storytellers love people like you, you know? After all, the capacity to remember such tales is a basic quality that all storytellers must have. Let me see. Boundary marker inscription. I'm the elder of the children of Echoes Troore, and I leave this inscription here. I'm the storyteller of the children of Echoes Troore, and I leave this inscription here. I'm the shield and spear of the children of Echoes Troore, and I weave this inscription here. To impart to those who will come after, so repetition is key. And to seek, and just like the drinking horn, to seek instruction from the ancestors in Wyatt, and to smooth out my present wrinkles. Here I shall weave three blessings. The first is for my friends from afar. Let us have one more drink. Zephaniah and Irizar. Probably Sumeru people? You who guided the Black Flood here to the place of the seal. You do not wish me to name your deeds heroism. They might, or maybe they might be Conrians. The two Conrian soldiers were not bad people, but, you know, helped to seal the abyss, because besides the sinners and maybe even then... Haven't been any who actually tried to unleash it. Probably. You would prefer to be known as cowards, rogues, or a children or side that you should ever increase our vigilance like an aphid that bites a saurian. See, it is only doing your duty as a storyteller, thus did I promise you. Yet I must speak the truth here. Forever and always shall we be heroes who fought alongside our tribe, the brother can the children of Echoes. Second is for the valiant ones who were sacrificed. Let us have a murder of my warriors, for who are illuminated by the incandescent god and jarred by god of our chief Sinjata, exactly. One there, and shall not tarnish the great names. We pray to the spirit of Huasakolan Ubakan, and then for Quetzalcoatl, actually. 
the mad bank who stole fire from the throat of the great dragon. To him we willingly offer up our deaths and lives that might block the arcane magics of the abyss with the radiant glyphs. As an elder, I bless the warriors. May we one day be free. May every death have meaning for all life as a place to return. The third is for those who come after and read this inscription. Let us have one more drink. Those who come after for hope for our future. If you are reading this, know that the situation is dire, but it is no time for fear. As the shield and spirit of the tribe, I bless you. Know well that fortresses forged from the sacrifices of flesh and blood cannot stand forever. And the only true immortality is the indomitable spirit. May you be able to win final victory. It says, Friends from afar, Zephaniah and Irazar. You would prefer to be known as cowards, rogues, or thorn on our side, that you should ever increase our vigilance like an ava that bites a saurian. Yet I must speak the truth here for, for people who couldn't read. Forever and always shall you be heroes who fought alongside our tribe, the brother king of the children of Echoes. Oh, wait, so those comrades fought alongside my tribe then. Well, the names of those two have always featured in stories of the embodiment of the evil, or they've even appeared in my nightmares. If you don't stop crying, the ghosts of the Cotterian soldiers will follow the sand and track down your shadow. So they said, but it was all a lie. Such injustice that those who gave their all for a tribe should bear such slander. And yeah, that's so sad. Ooh, they did not care for their good name. They only wish to see their will fulfilled. So that's how it is. Come on, gets it. Most heroes don't do great deeds to become heroes. They become heroes because they do those deeds. That's why they don't care about what others think of them. Dot, dot, dot. Sigh, perhaps you're right, but... Ah, oh, there the iridescent inscription goes. To where? Winning the floor or the wall or both? Oh. Oh. Oh! Nice. Circles in the sky. Wow, so this? This must have been where they finally sealed the abyss. Look, Traveler, there are so many golden patterns in the middle there. And also to see traces of abyss leakage here. It's like that's the thing attracting the iridescent inscription. We need to get over there and have a look. Hmm. Ah, so that's a, a viewpoint. Cool. Another teleport waypoint, and this... That's pretty. This is Tech and Makan again. It's just sort of back here. How far we can go. That stone chamber of shifting crystal pillars. Let's see. Geography. Where will the struggle end and fear lose its sway? Lost wandering souls break free from yourselves, for head lies a paradise of eternal desolation. Huh. Chamber of Night's Trial. I imagine that would probably be related to the Night Soul area in the Night Kingdom. Huh. How far can I go when this is... Kinda seemingly trying to hedge me in. Where can I go? Main thing is... Kachina can climb this. Question is, who else can? Okay, and, okay, now here we have invisible walls. Oh, now I'm stuck stuck. She can only climb it in Night Soul mode. Ah, but you can climb it like that too. That's fun. Go around the edge first, see what happens. Then we're gonna have to do a bunch of climbing around here to find particles or something. We can't go up here. Huh. Whatever. Well, yeah. You know, if we guessed it would have been nice here. Yeah, it really is like the moon at the end of Mario Odyssey. Oh, so now we're stuck. Huh. How far down can I... It's limited. Okay. Hmm. Basically just this pathway then, I guess. So now... Doesn't seem like we can go much further, if at all. Yep. Oh my goodness, we've gotten so far that the music has changed. Okay. Well. I don't imagine that there's much here other than... That start point. Or the end point of the quest line. Okay. 
And we can actually climb that up, climb up it, even if it sort of moves to block us. Okay. Hmm. Just want to see how far I can go. Grab that. Bring up top, or... Hmm. Cool set of abilities. Okay. That, again, is where it stops us. But this is all solid for guessing, but it... I guess you could say that this is sort of... For guessing, well, Pyro plus Geo. So it can also specifically be climbed by children of Echo's characters. That's not climbable. Weird. Well, time to actually do what I'm supposed to do. Similarly to how Liquid Fulgiston is. You know, Hydro Fulgiston, I guess. And not supposed to the Flame Granites. And I guess the Grapple Points, too, would be Dendro Fulgiston. Okay. But it, I wonder how you would do this without Kachina, really. I'll be able to climb up this and- oh, we got- oh, these two Conrian soldiers. That's Rockbreaker and Animal One. Hi. Do I have to fight these guys? Zephaniah? We've sealed this place as promised. That voice seems to come from the very depths of the unmoving statue. The rejection in those words are like two resolute hands that aim to push you from this place. Kind of like the one- Get his name, the guy from Chasm Dane's Quest Irizar. Weave go, I don't want to see him to see me like this. The voice seems to come from the very depths of the unmoving statue. There was a hint of respect towards someone remaining within. Oh, so I guess he couldn't look back and see him crystallize. Touch that inscription. Oh? Oh, I bet we have to fight them in Night Soul mode. Yes, uh, uh I told you it's dangerous. Get out of here. Calamity, the seal torn apart. Ruar. The voice is more complete now, but somehow it's not as frightening as before. My head still hurts a little, though. How you feeling, Traveler? It's no big deal. Now that's what they call surround sound. Well, that's not what Paimon was asking at all. Well, anyway, how are you feeling, Theodorix? Hmm. It yeah, looks like you're fine, too. Now that we're here, it's clear that the voices we heard coming from the stone pillar must have been. Those are the Condrian soldiers who have been sealed here, too. Ooh. That means they were sealed in for many years alongside the Abyss. But what's gone wrong here? I think the problem here is similar to the one we encountered with the lesser shadow pittance above. The surging abyss has caused the iridescent inscription's power to shatter and be squeezed out of that giant ceiling pillar. That means we'll need to find the large inscription's fragments and find a way to put this eggshell back together again, right? Indeed, that way the seal can be finally restored and the abyss will stay sealed in this place, and then everything will likely go back to normal. But as with the lesser shadow pins, the solid focus and surface will have an intense adversarial or ratchet the abyss, so while the ground undulates so. We must be careful. Where are we going to find said fragments, though? Roar, roar. From inside? Inside the dudes? Or that? That. Huh, can you sense the inscription's power hidden inside that thing, Theodorix? Sure do have a pretty sharp nose. Wait, you were using your nose, right? Wait, was that stone even there before? Did it just appear as you approached the large inscription, Traveler? Hmm. Well, whatever. Let's take a look around that rock first, shall we? Find the inscription fragments. Okay. Over here. Let's test this out. Why oh, there's so many rift towns? Oh my goodness. Okay. Come on. Thanks. And just like that. Thank you. Right. And thought we'd take a look at that rock, so the inscription's power is in there, Aurora. Oh well. Oh, okay. Break the solid with some crystals, release the inscription's power. Well, there we are. Hmm. Just like that, and where are you going? Theodorx has got a real instinct for this. This must mean that it's powered in scattering those rocks, and there's rocks over there, and inscription's power must be hidden there too. 
All right. Time to start climbing. Oh, goodness. So I guess we're just going to keep shifting. Oh, goodness. That's semi-constantly ends. There we go. Great, that's the second rock containing the inscription's power that we've smashed. Roar. Up there. There's another one right up at the top. Wonder if we could find a way to sort of bypass those rift tones if we just climbed up and away. You're definitely supposed to use Kachina for this. Hey, it shrunk and floated off into the middle. That ought to do it, right? No, that's not enough. Find the inscription fragments. Oh, hello. They spawned from that. Does that mean that there were sort of... Conrian soldiers that... Sort of lost the plot, or... Thank you. Right, and... Okay. Oh, we got more. Oh, well. No, they got smashed. Ooh, Rift Hunt, the one who comes after the inscription. Oh, it's got the sort of abyss and nice old music, too. Come on. And one, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. Or, or not. Right. And one, two, three. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Right. And now back down. We're just gonna let Emily handle this, maybe, or not. Two, three. Okay. Just do this, okay? Thanks. Find the inscription fragments. One just in there. Okay. Interesting how this is working. Touch that. Okay. Three of the fourth fragments flown over to what well, we're surrounded. Oh, is. The are going to dig out. I have to find the fragment of the Urandus inscription to bring balance back to the solid Fulgiston. It's the oil I can hope to avoid being swallowed up by the earth. Oh, thank you. I imagine you were helping? Oh, goodness. I'm going to jump around here, but... Rather claustrophobic. Okay, so you can kind of vault up these... Roar. Oh, is that a fragment of the iridescent inscription down there? Down here? Oh, okay, so... Going in and underneath, and that's gotta be the last one, right? And he broke it for us. Cute. Moving out on its own. Ah, right over here. Gonna have to fight them, I presume? Or... Felt some other soldiers as night souls. Just touch it once more, not the power of the full gets full, full, fully through the inscription. That way the eggshell should shield completely, preventing the abyss from escaping. Yeah, that should solve our problem. Let me try. So no, we don't have to fight those guys. Quick, quick, seal us inside too, just as we agreed. Hiss, then weave, get out of here. Why aren't you weaving the calamity? Listen, there are more voices more than those two soldiers for sure. I am the glowing inscriptions from a place further still than the English towels. Your wrathful roars and the pained whimpering of Saurians. You hear the sound of inchoate flesh and blood merging. The sick, giant, sticky, approaching footfalls of some giant thing beyond description. But you also hear something like thousands of hands, thousands constantly resisting, pushing outward. Inchoate, rudimentary, not fully formed or developed, just begun. Been a long time since I saw that word. You hear you, you hear you hear the endless battle in the narrow darkness. It is torment unto eternity. <clears throat> Rar, they cannot find peace. They fought on still. Those heroes are still locked in battle this day, preventing the abyss from flooding out from the iridescent inscription. The stories I tell of purpose. We must always remember those brave warriors and their sacrifices. And yet, such suffering. Though the heroes were wounded, they shook it off and stood up. Nothing hurt with all. That is what the stories say. I bet we have to. Destroy those two convent soldiers to free them, but real wounds cannot be so easily shaken, nor true torment so easily conquered. There they have suffered so long in that tiny, lightless world. True. Isn't there anything we can do for them? We want to as well, but the abyss. Perhaps the only thing we can do is inherit their will and reseal the inscription. Nor has this been the first time the Shadow Pen has fallen in our tribe's tales, anyway. 
Someone must have been here before, and someone must have read Trevor's tablet. Those who came before to restore the inscription must have seen what we saw. And yet, our stories did not change, for the warnings they gave were real, as were the dangers. All we can do is restore the inscription and weave to remember always and never forget all that we have witnessed. So, ah, uh, they're supposed to be heroes, but they've been left here to suffer forever, you're right, Pama. This is no end for heroes. I know that I wish to give them peace too, but I don't have that power. I'm just a storyteller. Traveler. We can fight them. Don't worry, we're strong together. Let's rewrite this story's ending. Really, you do that, Traveler? Of course you would. Cross Paimon's heart. Roar. The Abyss is dangerous beyond compare. I'm not questioning your strength, but don't push yourself too hard. Don't worry, you've got experience with stuff like this, and we have the inscription in a pinch too. True. So you're even more impressive than I could have imagined to be willing to give your all and resolve others' pain. Truly, you are great heroes. And I am a storyteller, so I will record the tales of heroes. Well then, Traveler, a hero from another land, please. Show me how you shall valiantly triumph over the abyss, and that we shall do. So, shall we unseal the iridescent inscription now, or do you want to make some preparations first? Let's go now. Alright, I wish you success, Traveler. Grant the warrior's peace. And... It's gonna be a fight with them. It's nothing else it can be. Didn't we agree that we'd make our exit as soon as the seal was ready? War Quick, Troy, lead your people away. Warrior who cleaved the dark tide. And just like that. And, down. and one, two, three. Right. And it was never sent to the dark, the cursed abyss. Should not pass. Holy crap. Lord of the Rings. And this is not so theme. That's fine. Don't need any shielding here. Okay, and this down and crap you. Right, and I, uh, okay. Duty is done. These centuries of points are passing instant. Oh, thank you. Two, three, three. Mm -hmm. Two more points at least. And. Come on. Oh, I did not expect that or want that. And. Oh, goodness. Thanks. I, ooh, come on. One more bite should do it. And. Wrong. When you see your orders have been carried out, you won't be disappointed. Oh? This is the only time that the Rockbreaker one has shown up outside the old world anyway. It's broken and raining down like points of light. Looks like in the hut these would be items we could collect. Oh, and... Oh? It's like the wild... Yep, and three of these are going now. This is weird, there was all that scattered light earlier, and then we suddenly found ourselves here. We we're sent here after. To the night, what is the nights? Ends with. City and tablet, too big, idle, medium, return. Dark filth, uninvited, standing dreams, nation invaded. Saint sought by darkness, flames of the living dawn, dust extinguished, trust not that sacred mountain, reject his promise. Probably the old king of Sushikanawa and the mad king. Three of these are lit up, because we've been here already. Oh, that's a cat. Beast with fur, beast with fur like that of night. That has to be, sort of, a Tezcatli Polka representation. Come over here. Given that Tezcatli Polka is kind of a god of conflict... You have brought so many slumberers, they who should have rested in peace. Perhaps they pray to spirits they should not have besieged. Rhyme? No. But that was a moonless night where naught could be seen. The night has long forgiven them. Yet hate and filth shall never rest, and they too shall never truly sleep again. Thank you, O oh you who are beloved. You have soothed their fear, which range in the darkness. It was you who brought them into the night's reflection, and the outland souls too. Night's reflection. Maybe Irwin's soul? The Alliance of those two may now return where they were headed. So every region has its own afterlife, maybe? What does that mean for mixed people? Dot, dot, dot. I feel like the Lord of the Night has to be maybe Tescali Poker or something. Go now, but beware of the fearful instigators and the ends plotted by those bearing ill intent. Hmm. Q. 
keep going to the Night Kingdom. Talk to T2. Is there a T3 too? Never mind. Oh. Oh. Boop, boop. You're back, Theodore's not worried, honestly. But how would I sell the fellow? They're fine, see? Ooh. And now that we could explain where we went just now, it's a long story for sure. We saw a glowing cap. Uh, I see. In any case, thank you, Traveler. I never expected the Abyss here could truly be purified. The iridescent inscription too is gone, almost as if it no longer needed to stay. The tormented voices have also fallen silent. That golden light, how it flowed like water spreading across the ground. I even felt as if there were people within that light waving at us. Roar. Did you see them too, little one? And there was that light that surrounded you, and then you were gone. Oh, we didn't see anything, though. So I thank you so much once again, Traveler Paimon, you two Theodorix. Truly are remarkable heroes. Thank you on behalf of all those warriors who can finally know peace. Troori's final wishes have been fulfilled, and we can tell the truth. As for those two Conrian soldiers, no Conrian heroes. Now that the Abyss is no longer present, they need no longer serve as a warning to us. I must pen a story about them, about how they helped save the children of Echoes. In truth, I did have a flash of revelation as to what their thoughts must have been. The Abyss represents such terrible peril that were it up to me, I too might have made up some horror story to keep others from the trap clear of this place. So it seems almost funny how I was previously worried about having nothing to write, now there's almost too much here. In our tale about a golden-haired outlander, a flying light fairy, a little tepid with swords, and how they saved our tribe. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty obstinate synopsis already. Indeed, stories pass on and stories change, perhaps one day a long, long time hence, and you might become as big as a mountain Paimon. Ah, behold the mighty mountain Paimon. Hmm, well, Kiyohashi's phone is a sweet madam the size of a sumter beast in a single bite. Roar, roar. Ah, I doubt there'd be too many of those, Paimon. Peppy, a big bird. As these stories pass down, I imagine that those two soldiers, too, will eventually become heroes. They might not have cared themselves, but I know that this is what I must do. Once again, Traveler Paimon, you have my utmost thanks. You two, of course, sharp little Theodore Roar. As a storyteller, I swear to write for you the most exciting tale of adventure. Speaking of that, oh, I should probably head back to the sentry post to take up my shift. I've almost forgotten about that amidst all the excitement. Oh, I sure hope Yukon doesn't tear me a new one for being gone so long. Yeah, oh, you should totally get back there pronto. Alright! Ancestral Reminiscence. Quite a few things, but I wonder... Where the next quest is going to be. Does not show up under sight. Oh, so this presumably is the final orientation of the area. I don't think we'll get any more shifts. But it does more or less reflect the map there. Tribal reputation rewards. Yeah. Should be some more quests. But I'm not sure I'm going to do the final big one. And there it is. Help Titu liberate the souls of the tribe's ancestors. Ancestral reminiscence. Pilgrimage to the volcano gold of the sun together with his blood. Ends of the siege of the stolen flame. Huh. Well. Get those crystal flies, I suppose. Won't kill me. Okay. Let us obtain more things. Okay. Thank you. And now, collect our rewards from Children of Echoes. Special combat techniques by serving the behavior of these Saurians. Couple of quests beneath the Crystal Rock and Peace of the Slumbering because Shiwan Ends is not available yet. Hmm. That was. Tiny bit more exploration would get me a second level, too. Huh. Another joke food item, more or less. Okay. So. Hmm. Let me think. Some quests around here. This one up top in this area, but also. That Kukasaur over there had a quest as well. What you think about? 
think that water over there might have had a night soul challenge. Maybe. I think that water is a good place to look for such things. Maybe. Random Fatui guy around here. Huh. Before I engage with him in any way, I want to check and. Oh, it's just a tap with Sora, so I'm walking around. Okay. Huh. And I could always get some Saku ones, but. Yeah. That'll be for next time, I think. It's all about finding the remaining quests around. There's one up top here, I think. I'll go check with that. Check up topside. That will get him. Got a couple pieces of corn, I suppose. Kachina will. Hop into that rift. Well, actually, I don't think it was a quest. It was... It's marking that cave, which is going to be... Zumbui Shul and you could use that to replenish if you were climbing some other way, but... The fissure's right there. If you're climbing up, you'd be using... Children and Echo stuff, presumably, anyway. No, no, the cave was down underneath. Here. Should actually mark that, too. Oh, I think I unmarked it because of related that one travel chronicle quest and getting kind of confused about its nature. It's a random camera. This is the graffiti wall, or oh, I bet. Look, well, traveler, there's a camera here and some props too. Do you think this is a film set? But these houses—they're so tiny, they make you look like a giant. Oh, a kaiju movie. Rar rar puny humans, this will make a great house for you, Paimon. Rar. Yeah, it looks like we're all big shots now, huh? Suddenly, yet utterly, utterly seamlessly, and not long local joins the conversation. Well, are you guys interested in filmmaking too? If so, then I beseech you, join forces with me, Akatanga, to bring this burgeoning new trend to the lands of Natla, and that it might sweep all before it. Rar rar. How come you're so hyped all of a sudden, Theodore? Does anyone think you were a film buff yourself chiming in like that? Rar. You have a keen eye with a one. In truth, everything you see here is a setup set up with the sole intention of making a certain little to pet with Sora the next big star. Great pity that my friend took the little fellow away. We had an almighty spat over our creative differences, after which she stormed off with my most important actor. Now they are gone. Sigh, I never should have mixed friends in business. The project failed and I lost my friend too. In other words, I'm doubly defeated. It's all water under the bridge, for now it stands before me, but another little tepid with Sora. Starry eyed and eager for starting it with such enthusiasm, what could go wrong? She'll make the next big hit. So what do you say? If you can help me complete this timeless groundbreaking work of mine, I'll be sure to reward you handsomely. Seeing as Theodore likes the idea, 110% sounds like some kind of scam. We can help, but we still don't know what this film of yours is even about. Well, here's what I've got so far. Bzz bang, a sudden flash of dazzling white light heralds the arrival of an uninvited guest to the tribal settlement. Perfectly round, but for a single spike. Crackle, biz, oh, a... Electro slime. As it stops for a moment on the grass, a scorching smell begins to waft upon the air. He can emissary of Shabalba. Aztec Underworld. The tribes will look terrified when they see it. Bang crack bzz, a foul abomination with no teeth. It's coming our way. It will surely devour us all. Just as the wicked villain is about to break through the tribe's defenses, boom boom, our savior with the red tail skirt appears seemingly out of nowhere. Where did it come from? The tribes will gas, marveling at its sturdy claws, rather than obsidian itself. Incapable of carving through rock of any kind, but faced with such a slippery, shameless foe. Surely, even for Theodorix, this is a fight that cannot be won. Roar across our savior, and more a piercing shriek than an angry roar, and the evil, toothless monstrosity begins to pulsate. A raging blaze lights up the sky, followed by a thunderous rumbling, and waves of heat begin to flow forth. Hotter even than liquid for gifts, and immerse in such heat, the toothless fiend is vanquished. Hot, 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 cry the tribesfolk, who have nearly escaped disaster as the aftershock surges through their ranks. But when they look up, they discover that their savior with a red tail scarf has vanished without a trace, as suddenly and as inexplicably as it first arrived. Well, what do you think? Roar, roar, roar. It's amazing. That's exactly what I've been waiting to see. It's unique, but hard to get my head around, if I'm honest. Kaiju. I knew it. I knew this kind of thing would appeal to someone. 
Well, Padma doesn't really get it as long as Theodorx likes it. That's all that really matters, right? So what exactly do we actually have to do? It's very simple. First of all, you'll need to set up performance props. It's the wooden barrel and the elemental bait some more subtle. The wooden barrel is your suit weapon, so you well to place it in the middle of the scene so long as it doesn't block the main character or the set buildings. The best of the elemental bait was near where the antagonist enters from, in other words, near the side. So the actors are all here, it's time to get moving. Theodore's our savior with a red tail scarf makes the entrance. The plot calls for us, the two of you must guide the antagonist towards the wooden barrel and scram with equal haste. So we've reached a safe position, so we smash the wooden barrel and that's it, job done. Can't wait to see the film when it's finished. Place the wooden barrel somewhere suitable. So he is running off. So I need me to run you through it once more, no need. It's still like I'm counting on you. Doesn't block things. The center. Hmm. Maybe. That would block that though. This is also the center. This is an important item. Can't leave it out of the picture. Let's find another place for it. That's if it's in the middle of the frame, but further away from the camera. Let's see the other options if I place it wrong. Don't you think that's too close? There's got to be a more suitable spot. Best middle frame, further away from the camera. Not a bad choice, but not the most suitable this time. Best middle frame, further away from the camera. Okay. Well, there we go. Next up is the elemental bait. Place it where the antagonist appears on the side of the frame. Here we are. Good, very good. This spot is perfect. Oh, we can talk to him. What if we break this now? Okay, we can't even break it now. And what quest is... Lights, camera, action. Talk to Akatanga. It's time you shot a film starring your soaring companion. This is also in the footsteps of the Chosen of Dragons. Mighty meaty fireball. A wild and robust photo frame. Capturing a formidable figure of the little creature in the film. The image of the Mighty Meteor Fireball is a manifestation of the fiery vortex of rage burning within the protagonist's heart. It's time this time you're remorsefully great indeed, such as the record of the scene in Akatanga's film. Okay. Hi. The actors are in position, the two of you to guide the antagonist towards the wooden barrel's plan. Scram with equal haste, once you reach a safe position, simply smash the wooden barrel. To get into position. Oh. Oh. Get into position the designated spot. Characters are already in position. Oh. It's pretty small. It was a temp suddenly filling in as the antagonist. No one ran nobody ran it by us. Shh, quiet, we're about to start shooting, that's why we have a bane. No such evil cannot be forgiven. This in peace, my friends, are the agony. Seeing the fallen brothers of the tribe, how can one not be moved to tears? Now is not the time for tears, so I face the all scorting Zolotl. And come what may, I shall have my revenge. The god of lightning, death, and fire. Fire and lightning. Bale? Question mark. A ferocious toothless beast, so it's a big one. His demeanor is cool and is as cool and composed as a lavender melon. It is purple. That legendary fruit from far across the sea. What sort of face was it, I hear you ask? A visage of such merciless cruelty that even gulping down volcanically spicy tatakos will leave it unmoved. Truly terrifying. This time, this time your remorse shall be great indeed. And with that, the giant beast with a red tail scarf unleashed the mighty meaty fireball it had owned through countless hours of practice. Right now's the time where the watcher slung from its wooden barrel and smash it to smithereens. Just smash a barrel? How's that gonna make anyone buy this whole mighty meaty fireball business? It's kinda weird, but if you say so, we'll give it a try. Tagging us through the barrel and smash the barrel. What if we just kill it now? Yeah. Antagonists exit the stage too early, that won't do. No, that won't do, and didn't turn out how I imagine at all. Let's start over. Okay. Now we're near here and smash the barrel. Come on. Oh, and just procs an overload. Rawr, rawr. Steady on, no need to rush. To tell you the truth, I was just a teeny tiny bit worried for the little one just now. I wanted the effect to be as realistic as possible, so I might have gone a bit overwhelmed in the explosives. I mean, blew the whole settlement sky high, even for me that felt a bit too dangerous. You know, what if someone got hurt or there was a fire or something? In any case, with this experience to go on, I'll know how to do things better next time. 
Thank you all for your help. Now how about we take a look at how it turns out? Is it upside down? You could fix that, right? Sideways. To all of your surprise, neither the savior with the red tail scrub oh, is the wrong way. Nor the evil crackling antagonist nor the thrilling shots of explosions seem to have made it into the final cut. When close-ups of the Akatanga's constantly changing expressions. I am the star of the show. Congratulations, have you used a camera before? Well, it's true that this is the first time I've officially used a camera, but sure I didn't get it the wrong way around. Easy for you to say, but what about all that hard work we just put in? Roo roo roar. They were so looking forward to seeing it. I'm so sorry, it's all my fault. Alright, how about this? Just think of the previous events as a rehearsal. We'll do it again. This time it'll be a real deal. I'll do my absolute best in everything possible to shoot the best film I can possibly shoot. Roo roar. It seems like you're eager to give us another shot, huh, Theodore? Let's do it then. Hope nothing goes wrong this time. Follow the same process before and finally get the result you wanted. Oh, we don't have to repeat it. No more problems. Incredible absolute perfection that completely and utterly exceeded my expectations. Complete utter absolute piece of cake. Director, what was that bonus you promised us? Aside from the payment we agreed upon, I also give you this picture to keep as a souvenir. So I must say, this really has turned out to be my magnum opus. Of course, I couldn't have done it without your help. Oh, cute. Oh, you look so imposing, Theodore. It's not bad at all. Roar, roar. Yeah, it looks like Theodorx is happy with how it turned out too. Well, all's well that ends well, as they say. Mighty meaty fireball. Saw that already. Yeah. Huh. So it's not actually gone. Camera is though. What do you have to say now? Is not connected to reputation. Who knows, perhaps that friend of mine might even have a change of heart once she sees this. Haha. Uh -huh. Wonder who that references. With all the tribes of Nala one out of six. And overnight story. I feel as if there's gonna be a fifth level or that it'll somehow require yep. doing something for the stadium to. I feel like it would be tough for them not to do that, if anything. Hmm. Well. Well. Wonder then is... One, where would I repair the Nightjade? Two. There's another quest nearby. One over here. Saving the Kukasaurus of Poachers. Soon we will need to do a bit more in order to actually trigger the ruins part of the quest. We have to bond with our buddy. Hi, I did not come here to fight you. Also, you could use those. Flame brand, it's to just destroy anything in water anyway. Okay. So, hello. Look what you've done, Night Owl. This could have made us a killing. Hey, don't try pinning it all new. Sorry if it's really beyond saving. At least we've got plenty of substitutes. Like a source of wine. Hmm. Well, among other things. Let's see if I can't find a sconce. Also, what's in there? Let's get this now. And that? What is that? Is that another one of those spaces, or...? Let's see. I want to enjoy a single Yumkasaur. Just to see. Yeah, what is this place? Oh, this is just the part that's under the mountain. Okay. Amidst the stony mountains. Part of me thinks that might be not so stuff down here. I would never complain about finding another totem. Nope. Guess not. I have kind of been in this area. Okay. Get that. Oh well. 
Sorry to bother you. Not really. Oh, a Jurius chest. And strange Yunkasaurus. What is this? Oh, and our dragons here too. Well, there's treasure in the cave, but this spell here is totally blocked off the entrance and won't move at all. Aru, yeah, that's wrong. Aru. Bob Palmon didn't understand that at all, Theorix. Can you tell what this Yunkasaurus was trying to say? Aru. Question mark was like that didn't work. Sai, even if they could understand each other, it's not like we could talk with Theorix either. If only had a way to understand what was being said, then maybe we could give it what it wants and make it move out of the way. What a way to communicate with the Yunkasaurus. That. Oh, it's another one that has us bond. Discover a Yunkasaurus step in the way of some treasure. Can you find a way to make it weave? Huh. I... Obviously, you just have to possess another Yunkasaurus. Something about a problem. Whatever. Let's possess one of them. And just chat. Do some funky indwelling. Okay, come on. Where, where, where? Stuff going. We could always do some grabbing, but not like this. What is that little dragon over there? Okay. Come on. One, two. I could have put Kachina down. I should have. Okay. Two. Right. And one, two. Three. Right. Okay. That's a couple of those. Here's that talk with Sorin's mechanic. Time for war crimes. Ouch. And burned to death. That was kind of mean. So, go over here and have a chat with you. Hi. Yep. Want to eat. You want to eat. Flat stomach, stomach so hot. Want to eat. What were you mumbling about just now, Rumble? Hey, could it be you're really hungry? Soaring here all by itself, how could Pilot understand through us? Mind sharing? No master in sight, it probably isn't even able to find its own food. Come on, Drow, let's go help it find some food. Once it gets full, moves out of the way, this treasure will be all ours. Yeah. Should we feed it, though? Maybe flame granites. Let Pilot think for a second. Soarin's here tend to eat a bit of everything, and Pilot isn't sure what Yunkasaurs eat. Looking at its color, it feels kind of like it's eating leaves and grass and that kind of thing. So one of those and give it a try first. Hungry bellies tend not to be too picky. Feed the Yunkasaurus. Aru Aru stomach rumbling. Something green. These are options right now. Let's feed it a frog. Actually, let's feed it fowl. But it actually likes meat. Yeah, his sure looks good. I'll definitely like it. Rawr. And the Inquisitor downs the food in front of it in a flash. Presumably it would have eaten anything we gave it out of those. You almost don't even manage to see just how the feat was accomplished, but it actually likes meaty things. It includes tofu. Look at the food, it's vanishing. Palmon, you've got competition. Just one serving doesn't seem to be enough. Yeah, Palmon couldn't tell, but this little guy real little guy's a real mega snack of sore. It's a good thing Theorex can't eat that much. Still, maybe the poor thing was just starving. Poor fellow, let's give it another serving. Or roar. Does Theodorx also want to eat? Let's feed this other Sora pal first. Okay, Yodachi. And then we'll fix you up something delicious. Hungry Sora needs everything you lay out in a single goal. If you blink, as so the scene seems to unfold twice. Okay, that should always fill your tummy. Hey, wait a sec. How are you sitting down again? Is two servings not enough? Oh, and just going to sleep right in front of the cave after eating. Doesn't seem remotely interested in getting out of the way either. Should we do Traveler? Palmer doesn't get the sky. Even if you want to take a nap after eating, at least don't block the way. Don't think you'd ever agree to get out of the way, though. It definitely feels like we've been had. Ron, I ate so much of our food, too. Roar. And Theodore can't stand a wash. Come on, Traveler. Gotta try to wake it up. Uh-oh. Try talking. Snoring, snoring, while the snoring is sleeping unreasonably soundly. It's a way about on top of being a greedy guts. Switch back, talk again. Okay. Snoring, he's right, just need block cave. Snoring, then can eat meaty food. Yunkasaur falls into a deep sleep. It doesn't seem like he'll be able to wake it up. 
Hey, I won't wake up. This is so annoying. Do you think it's just pretending to be asleep? Er, it does seem to actually be asleep and sleep talking, though. You wrote the contents of the sleep talk. Saying it's intentionally blocking the way just to get food cheating people out of their grub. Oh, well, we fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Hmm? But if that's how things are, then we don't have to play nice. Just have Theodore's tunnel over and get to that chest, Roar. If it's going to take a low road, we can't be expected to play fair either. They are sworn companion to take away the treasure chest. Let's go! So... Go down under there. Oh, and it moves the thing. That's vile. Anything inside, or what is in promises? Bet it's empty. Raw, raw. Uh huh, well done. Let's see what goodies are hiding in the chest. Oh, there's nothing at all, just a note. Oh, a note left inside a treasure chest. <clears throat> As of writing this note, I have already been laid low by serious illness. Alas, why I have great spirit above. This, too, is my punishment. To accumulate wealth, I took advantage of all the information I had as access to as a courier and cheated many people. In the end, after the incident happened, I lost my job as a courier. All the more I swindled became restitution, and I even became gravely ill. Now me, all I can say is that this punishment is agony. But even so, I still have things I can't get off my mind, and that is the Yumkasur who never left my side, my companion. Alas, I do not have long to live. I stole this chest. It is regrettable, but I had no choice. All I could do was have it guard this empty chest. I hope that should the chest grab the attention of kind passerby, passersby, they might feed my companion something, help it live on, that's enough. I know you must feel cheated right now, you might even be furious. You can insult me however you like, because I really am a despicable bastard, a rat skulking in the shadows of the sewer, scum that isn't fit for the tribe, but do not tear up this note and do not move the chest, I beg of you. By the way, if you're willing, you can weave something in the chest so the next, that the next person to open it won't feel cheated. Both I and my sorian will be most grateful to you. Uh, so the one who left the note was its actual master, so they weren't tricked by the sorian, but by its master. Totally irresponsible, so those who eat too much were destined to be abandoned by their friends. Hey, won't say that. Yeah, even if he was really sick, how could he just leave his Yumkasur in a place like this? And he even wanted to use people's greed to- No, wait, he wanted to take care of people's empathy for the Saurian. Sai, anyway, it's not like we can just let it stay here tricking people out of their food. Let's go find the Chief of the Signs of the Canopy and tell him about this. Explain the situation to Wino, Chief of the Signs of the Canopy, and bring him over. Is he going to explain the person, or- Oh dear, I had a hunch about this when he came looking for me. Who'd have thought it was that scoundrel that left behind this creature, that scoundrel? Roar, he was one who did wrong, then if your punishment left the tribe of his own accord. But I see no good in divulging the offender's name. Perhaps he himself was aware, aware that what he did was no good thing. See, he didn't even leave his name at the end of this letter. So it was Sorian's choice to join him. You know, we cannot say that he chose to do so. Sorians are simple creatures that cannot easily distinguish right from wrong. Most of the time, they simply follow their emotions and trust their companions. So I suspect at the core he hasn't changed, whatever small wits he has he points towards devising tricks to deceive others, even his own Saurian. He will send people to feed this Yumkasaurus on a regular basis. It is a child of the, tri of the tribe after all, as, as for that scoundrel. Sai is a tragic ending indeed, but I refuse to sympathize with him. People should be held responsible for their actions. Why well, is promise is completed? Strange Yumkasaurus in feed. Someone brought good food noise here. When he's back, we eat together. When will he come back? It's like Neko. Or me to feed the Yunkas or a final kindness. Hmm. Assume it's just gonna keep getting eaten, right? Sure, food of the Yunkas is blocking the way again. Fair enough. Guess we could check some of the stuff right outside, maybe? Sure. Things to pull on. I wonder can we explore with our soaring companion what else will we have to do clean up a bear of seed hmm one over there I wonder what I could boil up with this there's a monitor right over there huh in that case, let's just solve this puzzle for the sake of it. I? Huh. That ain't working. Activate that. But it's blocked. Blocked by something and cannot be opened. You know, what if we blast it? That didn't work. Hmm. If I... Is this sconce I can light? Oh, so... It is a bit like a silly lantern, I mean silly core, in that you can sort of 
highlight where they're coming from. I didn't even try on little sighting them. Okay. Cool. But one monitor in. Look how they hop around. It's like they got little hats. One of those has disappeared. Hmm. Seem to all be down there. Interestingly, oh, this one we pull. Remove grappling hook. That goes over that way. Ah, okay. Cool. And now, a monitor will guide you home. So each individual one, like Seelys, with its own progress towards the achievement. A monitor and complete the graffiti in the basin of unnumbered flames, Tecumacon Valley, Kuatepec Mountain, and Toyak Springs. Okay. Huh. That final one. If I pull this. Not appear to actually do much of anything, if anything. And we've been traveling in Nam for some time now, but we haven't turned up a single clue about the token we need for the volcano. Shall we head over to the Children of Echoes and see if that oddball Monku has made any progress? Oh, so presumably we have to do sort of two out of three of the quests with our little Saurian friend. Light of the Bold. Go to the Children of Echoes and search for clues concerning the volcanic token. But, how do I pull it? That is strange. Do I have to blow anything up, or maybe find a piece that I can slot in? Huh. That Ginkasaurus and a dude. That. Well, that just made a chest appear. So. Cleats on campground foolproof, foolproof plan. Huh. But, uh. Open this back up. I would imagine that there has to be some sort of grappling hook piece I can slot in. Maybe. Pulling that up is clearly not working. If I activate, blocked by something cannot be opened. I wonder where, though. Some little piece put in to make this all work. Huh. Maybe over there in that encampment. It doesn't matter all that much right now, but still. Nice. Okay, so that didn't do as much damage because I tossed it. Okay. Another. Okay. Cool. So, get our fangs. Let's just see what happens if I take out that encampment. Well, give me a grappling hook piece. I can fix that with. Maybe. It did not hit anything beneath. Interesting. Okay. Here we are. Get exploded. Oh wow, quick. Huh. This is a chest and lots of quinapa berries. It's interesting when we run into chests that just have a bunch of specialties in them, in addition to everything else. It's pretty cool. But I do not know what is up with that. That does not seem to be it. Maybe on the other side? But to open up the thing with a monitor, I just push this out of the way or? Hmm. I really do wonder. It's blocked by something. There's no hook here. Now what do you do? This blowing it up does not work. Got this block here. Oh, okay, so actually. That's to remove and install, right? Okay. 
Right, you can take them around. Okay. And... Huh. Okay, never mind. I am just an actual imbecile. There we go. Second I thought that was to do with the prompt. Uh, take them in. Oh, here we are. Oh, that's not gonna make a chest appear. That's gonna light this sconce. What is that going to do? Made a chest appear, but... Don't imagine that was the primary function of this. Huh. Strange. Like that final Kukasaur thing is... Oh, okay, another ring piece. Okay. Hmm. Still need at least one more for each one. Do wonder how they determine that. But, let's go over and save that Kukasaur. Hello, hello. That gonna. Let's see. It's not repeating that. Hi. Oh, okay. But a second, what are you rascals thinking of doing to it? Okay. Got some stuff going. Come on, come on. Get over here. Ooh, my goodness. Come on. Gotta cover you down. Oh, my goodness. Oh wow. Got flame granites in. Oh, okay. So Theodorix is attacking too. Let's see if I can find any more flame granites in the immediate era. It was just those barrels. This is the third of the th three quests, I think. The in the footsteps one. Before I can get over before you break aggro. Okay, well, you broke aggro. Sad. The barrels are not coming back. Where are you? Where did you go? Okay, cool. Thanks. Well, you know, we can just keep the burning up on you. It's damaging me surprisingly quickly. Okay. Wonder who's gonna die first. Me. Probably. Well, alright. Come on. You're not even going the right direction, are you? At least we can perma a hit stun. Come on. Good. Level of range and blunt damage and well that did it. Oh, you're tougher than you were. Oh, there was even one there. Mouse. Night Owl. Oh, God, who did we offend? Who'd send someone this day of all days to come whack us? Please, big bro, how have we offended you? Just let us know. We won't do it again. Hey, you little rascal, you're really gonna grovel before this piece of work. I think talking tough's gonna make us a living. I can see it now, I tell you. Just leaving like, living like thieves and crooks. There's nothing special about trafficking swords, is there? The only alternative is being robbed by a stronger crook. Why shouldn't I go with them instead? Not to brag, big bro, but I'm sure I'd be wearing more useful to you than these two. Just call me if you need anything, I'll settle it nice and clean. The Rookson, while well, I do happen to be shopping around for a sidekick, thanks for consideration, but no need. Plus, you're a bunch of bad eggs anyway, know what good guys like us would team up with sorry and traffickers like you. If there's no one gooder than me, well, there's always room for accommodation. Yeah, you're gonna be a bad influence on Theodore X, don't worry, little guy, there's no one teaming up with this lot. Rawr, rawr. Um, anyway, whatever designs you have on the Saurians, better stop now, or will. The Traveler will show you what's what. Roar. The true traffickers leave amidst a cloud of resentment. Palmon wonders how that Kukasaurus is doing. Shall we go see it? Lady Wings check in on the injured Saurian. That is also Footsteps of the Chosen of Dragons. Let me see. Old quest series and... Oh, there are a bunch of those. Wow. Light of the Bold is not in there. There are just a bunch of those chilling. 
Okay. I feel like doing a bunch of this first. Right of the bold. Peace to the slumbering and tales of dreams plucked from fire. So just the two ones were you. Interesting. Two in game dangs after children echoes and people of the springs. Huh. Oh, doing footsteps of the chosen into dragons gives you items for the rest area. We find a little one. Hmm. Interesting. Rest area. What does it add? Little one's rest area. Rest area. Point of interest in an instance. Huh. Okay, various collectibles can be obtained and added. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, may as well get this done first, but... Sort of quests surrounding this little pet. Roar. Oh no, it looks so weak. It must have suffered so much. And wow, but... This one really is very bird-like. Ooh, if only there was something we could do to help. We can't take care of it forever, can we? Roar, roar, roar. What is it? Do you have an idea, Theodorix? Roar. Follow your Saurian buddy. Oh, probably feeding it those flowers. Looks incredibly weak. If only there was some way to revive it. And yeah, probably these. Right, Ember Core Flower. It's gonna be a special Ember Core Flower, or. Or what? Or where to next? Yep. How many of those will we need? Looks incredibly weak. If only there was some way to revive. Oh wow, it's standing up. Or wait, huh? Theodoric seems to be going around in a weird kind of way. Oh, okay. Roar, roar. Do you think Embercore Flowers might help it out? Roar. Sure, we can give it a go. Try healing the Kukasaurus. How many? Kukasaurus, one to heal. Seems to recover it a bit. Seems to recover it a bit. There we are. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Oh. Hello. Rawr, rawr. It's gonna be interesting to see what it's like when we actually possess one of these. Looks like it's kind of reinvigorated. Flying toward. Yeah, flew away just like that. Guess it still doesn't trust us, huh? Trust isn't built overnight, you know? Looks like it'll fly on its own power just fine. But what did it leave behind? Sure does, great idea, Theodorix. Rawr, rawr, rawr. It's not like we did it or in its gratitude or anything, don't you think, Theodorix? Rawr. Hey, you're a generous little sword, aren't you? Just like Travel and Bamon. Okay. It's done, and this is... Mountain Ranger's Marker. Oh, okay. So it's a four-star Cinder City artifact. Which is interesting. I guess it is... implies that it was somebody's companion. Maybe someone who got chased away or maybe even killed. Huh. Either way... Polychrome Tristar is around here, I think. Could be nice to try fighting them. Maybe. That's an idea. Oh, yep, that's them. Okay. Wonder what team I'd like to use for that fight. Some kind of Furina Kazu team? Swirling is going to help. Get some chrysanthemums. A tricosio. And this guy. Hmm. 
Just take them on. Golden Goblin. Oh, there's another Shrine of Depths over there. Okay. But... Definitely gonna wanna... Probably use that Kaza Nubia team. Because Kaza can swirl their elements against each other, and the Hydra is the one thing. Can't swirl on that, because... Hydra... Is it Cryor? Wait. Let me think. Wait. Hi. Lastly, Nomo, Nomo cannot and Sidorenko. And, okay, yep, he has ice. Good. He doesn't have a shield up though. Weird. Okay, and, oh my goodness. Alright. Come on. Oh my word. Good thing is he has ice. But, goodness. I think Cusizo. Triceratops will be good, and then the remaining Night Souls are all. Well, Night Soul ones, which means. Let me just see. Other ones I could just do in sequence. Shiva Coadal, Chimeric Bone. Ika Huipui's Aegis. Waddle's Blessing. There's one that is in a Nightjade that I'd have to reconstruct. Assuming most of them are sort of some distance away from each other. But there's one up here, maybe. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like this, maybe even here. It's a sort of relatively empty area. But it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then two more of his locations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more of his locations are not immediately obvious to me. Huh. Well, let's try this out. Should give me a good amount of Fatui mats, too. I would hope. Yeah, you gotta kill them all. Okay. But, to actually swirl them to each other, gotta make sure they all get in the same general area. Get closer, why don't you? Like? Come on. Actually, the best way to do it would be get over by Mr. Fireman. They will all have to come over eventually. Get close enough. Come on. Come on. One. Two and a. Uh, oh my. What? Oh my goodness. Okay. Thanks. I. Swirl. Things. Uh, oh my, what in the- okay. Uh, I don't like that. Hmm. It- to find a good way to crowd control them. And over the right spot is going to be crucial. CO is going to suck. That is a known factor. Come on. Oh no. Please. Come on, come on. I just need particles. Okay. Come on. Polychromes are evil. Oh, well, it's more just. I need more real defensive options. Let's see the pyramid from here. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I am not in a position to start another world quest right now, so this is how we're going to do it. Cool. Keep Bajor on the field with someone who can take a few hits. 
That will force a jump. Okay, just have to run behind you, basically. Get over here. Okay. Cool. And, oh my goodness. Thanks. So how are we going to ensure... Well, it... That kind of works. Can I... Thank you. And... Well, it... Okay. Shields are going to take more... Work in, I imagine, but... Uh... Build old Noma Konov. Spin win. I, okay. Come on. Oh, 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 come on. Luckily, if we don't mess this up, we can... I think this worked actually pretty decently. Come on. Thanks. Ooh, there we are. Cool. Thanks. And... Oh, how did you... What? How did you get your shield back, you... Rapper bait? Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It, the only way I've got to do this is just plunges, and that is not ideal in the slightest. I, okay, what in the. Okay. Well, guess who's in trouble? Me. Huh. Ah, like more hard defense is undoubtedly crucial. We'll see. Come on. Come on. So, without Shrad, this is going to be nightmarish. Oh, it... What? Oh, right, the explosion. Well, I guess we'll stay on field and let Fiorina finish this out. Oh, what's interesting is... They die independently. Which means... I could teleport away? <laughs> Just come back? That's funny. They respawn perpetually. That does mean I can farm them perpetually. But I'd imagine that's more. They all respawn, but only one of them will have something to drop. Main thing is I need to figure out some ridiculously scuffed team that has a way to break all their shields. It, like the world's most god-awful Sokokamon. Huh. What would that look like? So that would have to be Hydro... No, Electro, actually. Hydro, Pyro... Cryo. How can that even work? Hydro Pyro Cryo. The only thing, thing I can think of is just Burgeon team with. Hydro Pyro Cryo. Burgeon team with Freeze? Because you need specific elements to break those specific shields. They react abnormally. Normally defensively strong against any element, but the specific ones to break. Cryo Hydro Pyro. Because Freeze Melt is not a thing. The only thing I can even remotely think of is some sort of fridge version. I mean, that could work. It's not impossible, but in that case, honestly, I think Diona could do it. Diona with Nihita, the Dendrolap, Nihita, Toma. Nihita. Xing Chao is nice and reliable, and then Toma. Well then. I've run weirder. <laughs> so who can I slap? Slap a Yumkasaur real quick to get energy back. Sorry. Not really. Oh well. 
Money. Keep on burning. Time for immolation. Okay. This, I suppose, is our future. Fair enough. Hmm. But without crowd control, that might be tough. Big thing is actually having a way to break all the shields. Normally, quote unquote. Hi, hello. If we move you over here. Okay, come on. I. Okay, I. Oh my goodness. That's the thing. Okay, now you're doing dynamic entry. Fair enough. Oh, please. Just make sure you get the right spot. This without Animo is... Oh, never mind. Come on. What? What? Okay. Cool. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Thanks. And just like this. And I... Okay. Cool. Cool. And like, okay, we do have fat. That's good. Thanks. Uh, hey. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, what? Huh? Never mind. Come on. Just don't have enough people in a position to actually heal anyone, really. Annoying. Come on. This is not the way this should be being done. Okay. Cool. And... Okay. Thanks. Let's do this to make sure everyone gets healed. Uh, I... I can think of... Dumber teams I've run. Not much. Okay. Thank you. I... Thanks. Over there. And... Thank you. Who are we going to... Main thing is we don't actually have to do this in any semblance of order. Is the nice thing. Oh, well... Never mind. Okay. Come on. What in the goddamn? Maybe there is no good way to do this right now. <laughs> or it. Crowd control has got to be here. But it. Condition of. Cryo. Pyro. Hydro. I guess you could just focus on. Breaking them down and then try to use Kaza for just reaction chaos damage. I think that might actually be the most sensible way to do it. But I feel as if stacking multiple sources of defense and healing, just whoever is the most defensive character with application that actually works, kind of. I guess we put in Barbara. I can think of worse. But, honestly, the rain swords were good enough that... I need them. I need the rain swords. Just four defense. And then... And then, I guess, Dia, frankly. And that's... how this is going to go. Just shielding and healing... And multiple sources of damage reduction. It's a shame we've only got one stack sword. Okay. So. So how this is gonna go. Come on. Thank you. Freeze. Freeze. Okay. This is how this garbage is going to go can think of no more suitable way to waste my time. Oh. Here you are. Great. Gotta figure out how to make this work. Come on. Make sure everyone's got their stuff on. 
dodge around that. Can't believe it. It's been three years and I finally figured out that's, that's how you dodge that stupid thing. Whatever. Right, dodge. One. Oh my. What in the. Okay. Come on. What if. Okay. Come on. Thanks. And. One. Two. And. Do we have it? We have it. Okay. Now we can just chaos it up until more garbage lets me survive. Okay. Thanks. Cool. And. Thanks. Thank you. So, thanks. Okay. And just like that. And dodge other way. And come on, give me, give me a bit more. Thanks. I want to. And oh, you're kidding. Come on. I actually hate it here. Come on, please. Let me just swallow you, I guess. Well, I, okay. Come on. Well, it... Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. Yeah, this is an absolute chaos for me. Okay. So I... Uh, swirl some of you or not? I just don't even know anymore. Uh, who is even... We were you over here, maybe? Well, it kind of works. I, come on. You keep it from doing stupid stuff. Please. Thanks. I just like that. And thanks. Alright. Oh my goodness. Come on. Yeah, I guess I could just shoot again. But the fact that this team's damage is so low and so slow is certainly not helping matters. Oh, come on. Being close to you is perhaps the only way to make this work in any meaningful sense. I... Okay. Thanks. Alright. Alright. One, two... We're actually getting pretty decent at knocking them down at the same time. Maybe. I genuinely don't know at this point. Oh, I'm just gonna make sure you're all in the same relative location. Okay. I have never ever tried something so profoundly weird. Well, that broke them all instantly. As long as you got someone, I suppose. Okay. Thanks. I mean, which one of you even is Vasily anyway? That's the thing. Okay. And... Alright. Roll and... Okay, and... Alright. Cool. Nice. And... What? Okay. Alright. Thanks. Thank you. And... Alright, and... Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, come on. What? Uh, dear. 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 Oh, please. Do not. Do not. Can't even do anything at this point. Come on, you. I mean, it legitimately is just a... Uh... Thanks. Oh, what? I? Not a good source of just team healing. Man. It really is just a sort of what do you do? Yeah, one didn't drop anything that time. Okay. Uh, you could try making the burst work. You know, the joke again writes itself. Okay. Thanks. One. And without a way to deal cryo damage, we're just kind of SO1. Okay. Cool. We can just knock you down, and Sword and True is actually kind of working. Cool. 
Or not. Uh, thanks. What? Really? Why are you the most busted? Really? Huh. It's just. What team? You need crowd control, you need healing, you need defense, you need an app. And. Honestly, if you play your cards right, I think UVA team is almost certainly the best win. It's got every ingredient, but... It's just, you need to be able to actually take advantage of damage windows when they happen, and not every team can do that. Mm. That was one of the first times I've really experienced true death. Uh, come on. Let me, let me get that, that back. Okay. Need particles. Need a lot of things. Okay. That. Right over there. Any particles? Uh. Well, I was gonna say, I wanted to weave that one, but I imagine this is fine. Okay. Let's show that one more time. Really just. What team can you run? I feel like he tried hard enough, maybe Mohani, but it's. Even if it cryo on there somewhat, it was honestly. the most difficult precondition. Fine. Oh well. Step back. Oh, okay. Thank you for jumping back. And, alright. Kinda ch What? Huh? I could not have thought of a worse time to do that. Okay. Zhang Li is a wasted slot. There's no real good way for any other... The one thing I can maybe think of is just... Hu Tao with a hundred pot crowd character there just... For vanity, basically. <laughs> but it really does get to you know, scraping the bottom of the barrel levels. Okay, well, try that one more time. There is a good chance that they're just. I wouldn't say too spicy for me, but. Take an annoyingly silly team comp. Do you think that Zhang Li could be very useful there, but without her followers, she is not getting that shield down. Also, I need power absorption. Some of those shields. Maybe what I want to do first is actually just shield break. That may be true. And of course, it's got its own damage. Thanks. Get over here. Come on. If I... Luckily, if you're already shielded, you can't really make things worse. You know, all you can really do is just shield more after that. Thanks, cool. And, class. Cool, and, one. Thank you, and, cool. And immediately switch out. Thank you. But it, this isn't bad if you know what you're doing. Is this on air? 
When are you going to get yourself back? Because I really don't want you fixing your shields. And just like that. I, oh, come on. We may have made a miscalculation. Okay. No. No, no look at all. What? Yeah, I needed to go the other way. Main thing is, once I've gotten half health down, I need to wait for another opportunity to shield break. As there are rather strict limits after that. And what I can manage now. But murdering you back is always like pulling teeth. <laughs> well, wouldn't be why if it wasn't like that, would it? Okay. And if you could just avoid death for me, I would be very happy. Okay. Well then. One more go at it. I really just... They've got... It really does. Team's fun, though. Interesting to see you're still awake. Okay. Dodge. Thanks. You're gonna jump back. Go ahead, jump back. Just gotta gather you... That did not get you in here. It's actually even stranger. Thanks. It's got a, not a way to actually break all the shields. It relatively... Huh? Never mind. That was... Yeah, never mind. I... That's the most reasonable path of action by far. I'm gonna... Use a silly Hutao team. That said... Cryo healer. Good cryo app. If I want to be really fun, I could try to fit Lil in somewhere. Screw it, I'm using Hutao. But it's... Without cryo on the team, you're never breaking that shield. That's the thing. So it... Welcome back to the team, Diona. I would say, honestly... Donna's gonna be on there for healing. Maybe I wouldn't have. Maybe I could use Fiorina instead. Honestly. I could see that working. So, this stupid garbage is what I'm going to be using now. Fablands, Fjords. You need to get that set back from Dia for now. Well, it... Difficult times to call for stupid solutions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is Zhang Li's pure shield bot set. May God have mercy on us all. Oh, right, Don needs energy because she died. Okay. Sackbush should help. The question, honestly, is can Furina get her burst back reliably? And there we are. Please, please. Show this one more time. One more time. And what's nice is that she's got a long enough cooldown that can pretty reasonably can all pretty much always proc sacrificial bow. Sacrificial bow was basically made for her. Well, not actually because it came out before her, but she uses it very, very well. Well, all right, time for fun. 
Big Rock is gonna be crucial. Come on. Just gotta make sure that everyone gets in here. And that I hit the right dude. Come on. Well, to be fair, I could actually focus fire one of them if I really felt like it. Now, honestly, it. Maybe I don't need to hit everyone at once. I don't know. Come on. One. Oh, nice. Come on. Please, do not kill me. Oh, but the... Uh, oh, we're not reliably getting vapes. That's the problem. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no Fiorina. You know, I literally forgot that Fiorina doesn't have good application. That the entire reason that Fiorina isn't just a switching job upgrade is that her application is kind of ass. Oh, whatever. Okay. One more, one more stab at this. We also unlocked that one, the volcanic token one. We'll do that eventually. Next time. Come on. Thank you. And come on. How are we gonna do this? Well, get that back decently well. Okay. This is gonna be pretty full defense. You're honestly. Well, Rathesley couldn't really work. Uh, I don't know. Well, I tried using Dia, and it was okay ish. But it. You know, there, there are lots of teams, it's just. You need a lot of durability. Well, I do like that they just decided, you know. We're gonna make Fatui skirmishers that are just absolute nightmares to fight. <laughs> There are these guys who are not necessarily joke enemies, but not ones who really take all that seriously, and now they destroy you body and soul. But without grouping, this is more than a little annoying. Okay. Okay, come on. Nice. Gotta focus on damaging you with the opportunities we get. This is a pure durability oriented team, which is, yeah, gonna have its weaknesses, but whatever. Come on. And I guess we'll freeze you. Thanks. And we have some imperfections and limits. Come on, come on, and can I hit? Yeah, this, again, has its limits. Come on. Please. Oh, please. And, oh, well, alright. Thanks. I... Mm -hmm. This one final application should do it. And there we are. Nomo Kanav is probably the most annoying, too, because he explodes at the end of the fight. Now, we will just get this down via the power of turtling, basically. That's okay. Come on, come on. Why is... Does she have... She's got her artifact. She's got the right bow. Oh, it's because I'm not running this on Morgana. That's gotta be the reason. And what that means is... Don't have... Come on. So I'm not running this on Morgana. I don't have a bunch of other team members just putting down huge amounts of prior application for the sake of it. Come on. And, I mean, that, again, it works. Ostensibly. Main thing is, how am I going to avoid getting hit hard by that guy? It's, I've got to use some kind of... Oh, please. Just don't... Get out of my way. Thanks. We'll... We'll end if we... Now they're gonna explode, which means... We iframe that garbage. Nice. To be totally honest, I think... 
You're next. I hate you so much. I, what? It missed. Wait, what? Oh, we got too far away and they all... I'm going to... What? Okay. <sighs> One more time. So not only do I need to make sure that I'm... <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh, I need to make sure that I'm not... Getting too far away. It's annoying. Actually, what I could do is... Take out... Focus Fire the Ice Guy, maybe? It's certainly an idea. I think I could reasonably do that, too. Thanks. Yeah, they're gonna have some trouble getting over here. Yeah, they have their limitations. Come on. Thanks. And... Well, alright. And... Where did that even go? Alright, okay. Cool. Thanks. I oh, right. We actually forgot to put Zhang shield up. That's why we have issues. Okay. Cool. And... Uh, whatever. Come on. Who and where? Well, alright. Come on. Just... Thanks. Thank you. And you got your crap back. By the way, I don't imagine you're going to be able to get out of the way here. Annoying thing is that the frozen is preventing me from stunning you entirely. Annoying. Okay. Come on. We are going to do it like this. Thanks. Break you down. Easy too. Let's see how this can work. Come on. Okay. More of this garbage. Just what is Cedar Van going to do anyway? It's like literally, what is this gonna do? Okay, come on. That you need so much energy for that. That was annoying. Come on. To make sure we proc that. How did it not proc that? That's a weird part. Okay. Come on, and thanks. Okay, well, the shield is broken. Can't imagine that to be good news. Okay. Well, that's not important as much as to knock you out is. Come on. Cool. So my question is just, what is Pseudo Vanko doing with you guys first? I know that some of them just buff the others and- oh, what? Oh. Alright. Well, that's unpleasant. How is that gonna last, though? Big thing is, we could revive the Tao. Feed the Tao. Now this... This is one of the first times I've had to use healing food in my memory. This is not something I really do. Something I really have to do. And, well, alright. Cool. Alright. Um, come on. And another shot. There we go. Okay. Gotta save Jean Louis' verse for the sake of iframes. Because it will allow me to iframe through his big explosion. Which is a nice idea. Okay, let throws you. Come on. And just like that. One. So both of them do a big blast on death. But notably, well, Vasily does not. That's the notable thing, really. Okay. Well, alright, whatever. I'm gonna cycle this. Thanks. Okay. Well, I guess we could just 
shoot you a couple times. Break your shield and then let the tower do it. Okay, cool. And that means... Oh, well, I did not expect that hit. Oh, that's Nikoyev. Never mind. Maybe I am a little bit. Dang. And I... Really? Whatever. Just heal up a little, John. Come on, come on. Well, if, if it works, it works. I just... This is the last of this garbage I intended to put up with. It's already gone much longer than intended and expected. Because of you! An idiot! Okay. You're frozen. Now I can kill you. What a demo We did actually bust it with Koya. We all got individual names, interestingly enough. Okay. Maintain your individual identity. Come on, then. Um, well, we that a bit early, maybe. Come on. Thank you. Where are we? What? Oh, did I not put up the... I didn't put up his first, actually. Maybe I am cooked. I didn't even see this guy. Okay. Come on. Get away. Thank you. Can't exactly leave anywhere now, can you? Okay. Like we got the defense, got a lot of stuff. This on World Level 9 is legitimately a war crime. Okay. Thanks. <sighs> if you beat him first, you buffs the boss. Is it I wonder what I could do to make this more durable. Okay. Well. That was a long and hard-fought battle. <sighs> to a Series 1, defeat Woko Legend Polychrom Tristars. Let's defeat Vasily first to give them the attack buff. <laughs> they were sponges. That was evil. Huh. Well, okay. I will take that as my cue to leave because I'm spent. So, thank you for watching and sign a ragon. It's gonna go back here. Next time will be more of those local legends and more world quests. Yeah. Sign a ragon.